Not mm-hmm. close in public. There we go. Congratulations. You've made it. Congratulations. <laughs> You've made it to the Shashley's episode. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Trash Taste. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, enjoying yourself. Have a nice seat. Get comfortable. <laughs> get, a, yeah. get, a, get a little popcorn or something. I don't know. Because yeah. uh, we're going to the movies. <laughs> we're going to the movies? <laughs> no, no. What are we seeing, Dad? What is this POV? You're on a date with Connor? Yeah. Like, oh, get yourself comfortable. Uh, yeah. We're going to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> on a date with the boys right now. I don't now. know what else to say, all right? All right? You got me, okay? How you guys yeah. doing? It's good. It's uh, November. Right. Where the fuck is this oh year gone? Oh my God, dude. Yeah. And I can, so I can say this because this is, we don't have a buffer anymore. Um, so whatever <laughs> we talk about. No, I mean, we're filming this on Tuesday and it's gonna go out Saturday, which is I think the first time in yeah. Trash Taste history. Got a lot of when a Trash Taste episode starts with a, yeah. a, a shame, meta reference. So it's a shame there's no like hot topics to talk about. I don't think yeah. there is anyway, at least. So. Uh, I watched the Dune movie. Is oh, that a hot okay. topic? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean people are talking about it. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's a movie. Yeah, it's a I movie. saw it. Yeah, okay. How was, was it? It was fucking amazing. Really? I don't, I don't, like I genuinely don't understand. Like normally, right? <laughs> Online, okay. Okay. People love to be critics right. about movies, right? right? No. You go into Rotten Tomatoes, you go right. into IMDb, yeah. all sorts of self-acclaimed critics, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And you know, most of the time, I'm okay with opposite opinions because mm. I've, you know, it, I always want to know like what the opposite opinion is, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, <laughs> if if like I, I really enjoyed going. something, Where right, going with then this? I want to see like <laughs> yeah. how bad it is, okay. or like if I really hated something, I want to know, you know, why people might have enjoyed mm. it, right? Yeah. I'm usually open to it. I think this might be the first time in my life where I don't understand the opposite opinion because I saw so many people on like Twitter and like Rotten Tomatoes, like rating Dune is like, oh, it was shit. It was a disappointment. And I'm like, did you watch the same movie that I watched? Because it was genuinely the first time where I'm like, I actually don't understand your criticism. Like, yeah, is, is that why weird? Are you brain dead? Yeah, <laughs> why? It's like, were you asleep during the movie? Like, so what about it's so good then? Because I, I, I'm gonna watch it. Oh, yeah, but I've been here. watching like every other movie okay. except that movie. So like, for one, it's like one of the. Uh, so I'm like a massive fan of the books. Yeah. Okay, like, I haven't read the books. Okay, but that's can I, can all right. I still enjoy it. Yes, okay. absolutely. So I went with a couple of my friends. Uh, mm-hmm. One of them has read the books, and the other two hadn't read the books. Mm-hmm. Right. So it was good uh, to find out if you needed to be a fan of the books or not. Luckily, everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. But I think it's because the movie did a really good job of like picking and choosing like the right information to leave in the movie. Okay. Yeah. Because there's a lot of information in from the books that they didn't include in the movie. Right, naturally. I mean, that's that. just yeah. how that's just how book yeah. adaptations are. I mean, Dune is like, especially Dune is like so fucking extensive when it comes to its law. Like right. literally yeah. the first book at the back of the book, there's a literal glossary of terms yeah. that you need to understand wow. to read the book. <laughs> like that's how it's- So it's just like its own terms that it's made up or it's just own actual- own terms that it's made okay. up. Like okay. Frank okay. Herbert, who was the creator was like so like, he was so five head with this shit yeah. because yeah. like, you, know, you also have to understand this was written in like 1965. Like it's a 50 year old sci-fi wow. book. Is that old? It's really wow. old. Yeah. I, I've heard it's like visually and, and the sound is amazing. Oh yeah. dude, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, this might be a hot take, but yeah. I think it is one of Hans Zimmer's best soundtracks. That is that is some I, fighting words I, because I, I he's just, he's had some amazing sound. Like I thought the, the boom guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the boom, guy. the boom guy. Every 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 Hans Zimmer one has the boom. Like, look, like or I'm, something like I that. love Hans. I could, Zimmer. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. I love Hans Zimmer. Like Lion King soundtrack, epic. Inception. He did Lion King. Yeah. He did Lion King. Yeah, he did Lion King. What? Wait, you, what? Didn't, you didn't know he did Lion King? No. no. Yeah, Hans Zimmer did Lion King. Thought it was Elton John. I'm joking. He solo carries Lion King. No, he did the Lion King soundtrack. No fucking. Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. He, he actually, to be, to you, be can, fair, you can fact check, to, to but be I'm pretty fair, sure he did To be Lion fair, with Lion King, I don't remember the soundtrack as in like the remember, background I remember music. I remember, I remember ham, Elton yeah. John. <laughs> just going ham. Man. He did go ham on yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. to be fair. Yeah. yeah, but he did, you know, he did Lion King, he did Inception. Okay. He obviously, yeah. basically every Christopher Nolan movie right. he did. Yeah. And uh, and I thought he peaked at uh-huh. like Interstellar, uh-huh. right? Like that's yeah. like the one soundtrack everyone says is like, mm. yeah, fucking amazing movie soundtrack. So what did you, what would you get the movie out of 10? If I dare ask for you. Oh. Your, your score, this archaic Out system of judging movies. Yeah, <laughs> cool. uh, I'd give it like a strong nine. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, because, I'm just gonna watch it. I'm yeah, gonna, I, was, yeah, I was gonna watch it because the biggest criticism I've heard, if you can even call it a criticism, mm, really, is so. that so much of it depends on 
number Dune two, right? Part two. Yes. Because I've heard it's just yes. it's not a full movie. It's just it covers half a the movie. first half of the first book. Yeah. And it's a two and a half hour movie. Well, <laughs> when they release Dune two, they'll probably do the whole you can watch the first movie before the second one, you know. Yeah. Like, like a bundle did, package. Like they did right? with the Avengers. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, yeah. yeah you can watch uh, uh, Infinity War before Endgame. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Midnight. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, what what I've heard about part one of Dune is that it's not like say, you know, Avengers Infinity Infinity War or like Lord of the Rings. It's like trying to build a whole world, right? Yeah, yeah. Where where you don't get like a natural story arc. It's just, you get half a story. Yeah, I thought it's abrupt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it does kind of just end with- I see where that pisses people off. Yeah. Yeah. And I think as well, the other big thing is that I feel a lot of the criticism I saw is that I think they kind of almost gave it a little bit of false advertising with like the trailer because I watched the trailer of it Mm -hmm. and there's like, you know, it looks like an action sci-fi. Yeah. But the thing is, Dune is not an action sci-fi. It's a political sci-fi. Yeah, it's one of the things where it's tough though. You can't, you can't market yeah. politics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is like, which is why, I, yeah. which is like, Mecca why- fans are crying. <laughs> are you sure you can market- Where is my politics? Okay, I mean, you can market politics, but in a movie, it's kind of hard to be like, and then he signed the paper yeah, and yeah, making yeah. the agreement. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just like, that's just like a lot of Mecca anime in a nutshell. People yeah. are just like, oh, giant robots got a pew pew pew. And yeah. then they're like, wait a minute. I'm, I'm really invested in these colonies and the politics yeah. of these colonies. Like, what, what is the- all this government bullshit? Wait, what is what's like going on? Game of Thrones. You don't tell someone Game of Thrones is like a political thriller of backstabbing and stuff. You're like, it's got dragons yeah. and zombies and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and then, then like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> because I watched the trailer and literally the entire trailer mm-hmm. is, it's like P-P. 80% of it is lo- a lot of like fighting scenes. Mm. Yeah. But what's funny is that like, all of like all the fighting scenes in the trailer are all the fighting scenes in the movie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. And so I, I'm not I, gonna watch the trailer now because it's spoilers. I'm yeah. gonna- <laughs> no, so I can see why, like, I think people might've been maybe like misinformed yeah. about it right. if they never yeah. like read the books or anything. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Since, since living in Japan, I've, I've been doing this thing where I just don't look at reviews before and after the movie. Yeah. Full stop. I just do not look at reviews anymore. I just look at the movie, mm. I watch a trailer, I'm like, it looks okay. Mm. Yeah. Or even sometimes I don't even watch the trailer, I just pick one, yeah. and I just go to the yeah. cinema and I watch it. Right, right. And I've been I, really I, enjoying I, movies I, a lot I more. Think that's, I think that's since. the right thing <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah, that's the right thing it's, to do. It's hard because sometimes I watch a movie and I'm like, I think that was good. <laughs> But I need someone else to also tell me. Right, right, right. <laughs> because, <laughs> because that's the age we live in. Yeah, right? because uh, th- I experienced that recently with, uh, I, I'm sure, I'm, I don't think we can spoil it, but yeah. we were asked to watch something mm. by a company, yeah. right? Mm. Uh, and it was the first <laughs> did, time. Did you have to make that so obvious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it was the first time that uh, I had watched something Get like given early access to something. Mm. So even if I wanted to, there is no way I could check right. whether this, what right. I was watching was good I, or yeah. not. And I, I can't wait to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna be, we we're gonna be talking about that on another, another episode, but yeah. it was like such a weird experience for me to be like, huh, I, I think this is good. <laughs> I don't like the, my opinion. I think is right, but uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it, it suck? Could be, that it could be wrong. It's, Do, it's, doesn't it suck that at the end of the day, it just boils down to I liked it. But is it really me? Yeah. That's the thing that I've started to like from doing this a lot. I've just because now I don't treat movies as like I want to watch that one film that's good. It's like yeah. I want to just do something for three hours that like lets me shut off. Yeah. So I just go yeah. to the movies to watch anything, literally anything. Mm. Yeah. Um, my my problem with movies right now is that I have such a short attention span. Really? Like like I mm. like it's the I, one place I can like shut off. Like, cause I need, I, I want to shut off in the movie, mm. but I need to know that it's worth my time, right? Right, see, right? that's see. that's like, it's, it's like taking a leap of faith. And the thing is, if you take that leap of faith mm. and that movie ends up being good, mm. then you enjoy it way, way more. But I just, I just have like, I don't have the attention span to sit, sit through enough shitty movies mm. that I'm just like, okay, I'm just not in the mood for this. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure what's changed. I don't know why yeah. I'm like, I have my, Because my I'll, I'll tell changed. you what I've been doing actually to to offset this, which I, I know you think I'm a psychopath for okay. this, which is whenever I get recommended random clips on YouTube for a movie I haven't watched, I see that clip and sometimes it's like a banger clip and I'm just like, all right, this movie is worth watching. I'm gonna watch the entire movie. So you now. have to basically watch like a portion of the movie before you're like, I'm There's, ready there to needs, watch the, the whole thing. There needs to be something to sell me on oh this movie. It doesn't even need to be like a high, scoring movie or something mm-hmm. that people like right. everyone recommends. There just needs to be something about this movie that I'm just like, okay, uh, there's a hook. Is there, is there, there is there, a hook. Is there no part of you that just wants to go, turn up to a movie and know nothing about it and just watch something? Oh yeah. I mean, that, I think that's the issue of watching 
things for a job. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Where, where I watch enough things for a job blind anyway, that yeah. we're in my free time, in my downtime, yeah. I want to know that this shit I, is I, worth I, my I get time. That. I get because that. if it's I, not, okay. then it's just another job. Yeah. You know? I, under, I, I understand that. that. It's weird because even if the movie isn't as good as I would like it to be, I mm, still yeah. get the same level of enjoyment mm. from just being in the environment, getting to experience watching something. Even if it's shit, I'm like- you I know, think you just like uh, the cinema experience. I really yeah. do. And also yeah. I just like having, I, sometimes it's nice, but do, do, is it's it, nice it, watching something yeah. that's bad so I can, I can have a frame of reference. Right. I can be like, yeah. like this, ev- is, if, this is the if standard. If everything I watch is yeah. good, I have no idea what's bad anymore. And right. this is why I, re- I think I relied on reviews because I only ever watched things that were good. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like the more I've just been watching stuff and making my own opinions, yeah. the more I'm kind of enjoying the process of then just being like, okay, what do I think about that movie? Mm. And yeah. not not look at anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. weird. I don't know because I definitely did feel that. I'm, I was so spoiled watching everything that was quote unquote good that it was yeah. getting to the point where I'm like, all right, I said this must be, I don't know, this must be a weird take. I'm just like, what is good know. anymore? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no, I, 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 I watch I enough that. shit things for my job. Right, yeah, I'm just like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, for me, like there's nothing that grinds my gears more when I watch something and I feel like it was just yeah. a waste of time. I, I, I will, you know? yeah. Like so something that's not, Entirely good, mm-hmm. but not even that bad. It right. was just yeah. The mediocre there. ones are the worst. The mediocre ones yeah. are just like I could have done so many right, things yeah. at that time. Which is why you would never go out your way to watch a five or a six out of ten. No, right? no, no, no. But if you turn up in the cinema, you don't know what it is, and you watch five or six out of ten, you're like, no, oh, okay. I mean, but I'm not the kind of person who just rocks up to a cinema and goes, I'm just gonna watch something. Yeah. Like if, if, if I'm at a cinema, if, I'm there for a specific movie. Uh, if like to, for opposite. me to go yeah. to a cinema, I am committed to whatever I'm watching. Yeah. So yeah. Like, movie, like, movie, like, movie, movie theater for you Americans. Out there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, fuck it. No, because like, because like to me, yeah, I, I get it. Because if you're in the movie theater, uh, like you're just you're committed to be there. And yeah. I've only ever walked out of one movie in my life, Chad, and uh, that was the uh, live action Ghost in the Shell. Oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, 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 that's yeah, right. yeah. And that, and that was just because I was just like, I, I watched about forty minutes, and I'm just like, this is neither good nor bad. It's a waste of my fucking time. Right. And right, right, right. I, I like, I I went there by myself as well. So I'm like, no commitments. I am just going to walk out. <laughs> You know. I'm trying to think what movies I watched. Um, I watched The Last Duel recently. Do you know, do you know the movie? What the no. fuck is that? All right, so exactly right. So, so <laughs> is all, that a recent all movie? yeah, all I know about this movie is that it starred Adam Driver and Matt Damon. Okay, that's all I knew about this movie. Okay. I knew that it was kind of based in like the 1300s or something. Right. Yeah. So, turns out the plot is about something uh, where there was a there was a, a famous rape case in the 1300s in France, and it was kind of like unheard of that there would be you know, a, mm. a court trial around something like this. Mm. Yeah. And then it ended up in a duel. And uh, the whole the whole movie of this thing is like telling the perspective of each person involved in, in the in the rape. Right, right. So it's like the, the woman's perspective, the guy doing the rape, and then the husband of the woman right, right. getting raped. And because obviously it's like the 1300s. So the rules are all like totally fucked. And obviously, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, and it was, it was, it was good, but it was also like, Really weird because it was supposed to be like 1300s France and just Matt Damon was there and like <laughs> in an American and then uh, not even Aff- like is this, a new, is this a new movie? Yeah, but and then like Ben Affleck was there. Are they doing like a French accent or no, anything? No, no, it was just American, but it was just kind of like <laughs> okay. It was the first time in my life where I'd, I'd ever genuinely felt like a movie was bogged down by having actors I knew. Like right. I was like, mm. this is just like. I just, I don't need to see Matt Damon. Because you can't yeah. unsee Matt Damon, right? Because, yeah, yeah, because I'm watching this movie and I'm like, th- there could have been so many better people who could have done this role. Yeah. And also, yeah. even, you know, if it was in French, I wouldn't have cared. Obviously it wouldn't have got the budget and obviously, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm. But, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know, it felt weird because then there was like American and then super British dudes and then some dudes <laughs> with French accents. And it was like this whole weird thing where I was like, like, I, I think the movie was good, but also right. there was just like, the casting felt really weird. Yeah, and yeah. I didn't really know what to think. And then, then I did go online and it was like 8.5 or something. And I was, really? like, <laughs> I was like, okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but yeah. I, it was, yeah. Do, you, do your opinions get skewed when you see online reviews and or like when you have your initial opinion and then you see the reviews and then you would just, yeah, do, you, do you think your like opinion gets skewed? A bit. Um, sometimes. N- sometimes. I'd love to tell you I'm immune to my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Being yeah. Everyone, everyone out there watching is just like, other people's opinion do not affect me. Yeah. I have my opinion and mm. that's that. And I'm just but like- I think, I think for most things it doesn't affect me, but then there are times again where like, similar to your situation mm. where it's like, I'm not sure if I enjoyed it or yeah. not. So I need like a second opinion I need someone to it. tell me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, need, I need like a second yeah, opinion. Like, bro, bro, back me up. Yeah, this yeah. is a good film, right? This is a good right, film. Right, all right, all right. You know, and, and the film is very uncomfortable and, and 
you know, it's kind of hard to watch at times, but mm. then I'm also like, I guess that's the point though. That's the idea, yeah. mm. but it's not supposed to be fun to watch. But then I'm going to the movies to pay for watch something. <laughs> and so it was this, I was in this weird spot where I was like, this could be a four or an eight. And I don't know which one right. it is yeah. by like public consensus. So it's one of yeah. those kind of movies. One of those movies. Yeah, and yeah. I left it thinking like, okay, I think it was an eight, but I just wish the casting was better. I didn't read anyone else's reviews. I just saw the score. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I don't know, maybe people disagree with me on that, but I was like, yeah, I was just like, whatever. And then right. on the opposite end of the spectrum, I was like, I'm gonna watch James Bond. And yeah. it was like, <laughs> it was like, I know everything about this. I've I've read all of Daniel Craig's weird ass interviews. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've seen that man's interviews? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that man on? It's so <laughs> funny. Some of the shit this man's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Craig articles were better than the movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> these, reading these articles, I got like 10 times more enjoyment reading these articles. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you read the article where he was like, I kiss everyone on set. Did you read this article? No. <laughs> read this article. <laughs> I need, I need to read <laughs> this, this article. Give, give, give your homies a little smoochie. Yeah. No, 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 no. It wasn't just, it wasn't give your homies a smooch. It was like, oh my God. All right. It's like, I'm Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Daniel Craig and Rami Malek's claim, the pair kissed on James Bond shoot. I'm a very friendly guy, in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said this, Rami Malek or Daniel Craig? Uh, Daniel Craig. Okay. Uh, Malek said Craig grabbed him and picked him up after he shared a good idea for the movie. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, you're a genius. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, it's so bizarre. He grabbed me, picked me up, and the moment <laughs> he grabbed me, picked me up, and I can't tell who initiated the, mo the next moment, whether it was him or I, but a kiss transpired <laughs> between the two of us. He said- well, What kind I'm, of kiss? <laughs> he said, I'm gonna say Daniel Craig. I need to know how much. Yeah, how yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Like, was, was, like, like, was, was, like, was it like a full Frenchie or like a little peck like on the Sonic cheek? Was it like a Sonic and Mario making out kind <laughs> yeah, of deal yeah, where yeah. they like rip the clothes <laughs> off? I'm gonna say that Daniel Craig initiated it and I was very taken aback. He added that the, <laughs> the, kiss was, the, he added that the kiss was very welcome and that at the time he, he asked Craig, so does this make me a Bond girl? <laughs> and then this is a quote from Daniel Craig. I kissed him, all right? I kissed lots of people, Craig said. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm a very friendly guy, and I wouldn't rank anybody. <laughs> that would be that would be a terrible thing, terrible thing Ranking to do people. to rank the best kisses. I would I would just how many people could I offend? Terrible, <laughs> thousands of people. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is thing, what is going on on the set of James Bond? <laughs> just going around to every actor, yeah. being like, "Have I kissed you yet?" <laughs> Not sure. Just going around like just Frenching people. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's that's the audition well, process. Yeah, like, All right. <laughs> You're, you're suitable for the role. No, no, okay. Get Daniel Craig in. This, this article is just say, Listen, the story's had legs about kissing Rami. I've just been trying to get it more legs. I don't know if it's on social media. I haven't got social media, but I said I used to kiss Rami at the end of every scene. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like not a big deal. God almighty, just spreading the love. <laughs> Malik. <laughs> Malik quipped, I would just rush through scenes just to get to the moment that you would get kissed. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? What? Wait, so it's like ramming Malik into it as yeah, well? They're loving it. They're loving it. The whole set is it loving sounds it. Sounds like a fucking love story going yeah. on here. The it director's was, like, damn, they're really pushing through one take wonder. It was just kind of like, why don't you just like, just, just fuck. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> like, yeah, like it, was, it was just such a bizarre read. I was yeah. like, what? What? <laughs> what is going on? Why are they sharing this? It sounds like an onion article. Yeah. I love it. it and was then great. I watched James Bond, and it was nothing like that. I, I watched I James Bond, and I was just imagine him at the end of every scene. I just imagine him just running off and going making out with Malik. <laughs> I, just, I, I love it. I was like, this is the best article I've ever I've ever read in my life. I was yeah. laughing my ass off. That's <laughs> and so the, funny. Like there's countless articles of, of from Daniel Craig before this movie came out. I've just like insane Just stuff. losing his mind. Just saying the randomest shit. He just brought up that one time he was like, he only goes to gay bars because it's more friendly or something. And I was like, what is- He's not gay though, right? I, no, 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 he was like, I feel more safe there. Other people yeah. won't try yeah. and start fights with me. I'm like, what are you doing? Or well, you are getting in fights yeah. in every bar. I mean, he is James Bond, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I know, but like, like, he's like 50, man. Is he, is, he just, like, is he just like method acting the yeah, entire yeah, time? I don't, know, I, I don't know, man. What's, I was like, you're going to gay bars, you're kissing Malik. I'm like, Craig, man, come on. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> come on, just like, What's like going on, buddy? <laughs> like, you want to just say, like, it's cool, it's cool, dude. It's 2021, bro. Yeah. Like, just, it's fine, man. I think it's gonna be my favorite Daniel Craig clip, though. You guys know the what weekend, it is. The weekend, yeah. Ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, there's, okay, and there's the weekend. There's another article <laughs> where he didn't know about the meme <laughs> yeah. and they introduced the meme to him. Yeah. And he's like, that's great, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, 
like Daniel Craig articles are better than the fucking movie. Oh and the, the articles, 10 out of 10. The movie was a five out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was right, right. Did Wait, you watch so it? No, did you watch the Yeah, movie? yeah, it was, it was all right. The Time to Kill, was it? That's time, to time to die. Time to die. Time to die. That's all right. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. I mean, I don't know. I'm we should not, do a movie set of Jane. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even really like a fan of the Daniel Craig James Bond movies, like any of them. I'm not. Oh, Casino Royale's good. Yeah, I, I can Skyfall. Casino Royale. Skyfall. Skyfall was okay. It was, I, I think it like, peaked at Casino Royale and then just- It's a shame that it was like his yeah. first movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just well, that's good. That's, that's when they like really reimagined James yeah. Bond. Yeah. And I was like never really uh, like a massive fan of James Bond, but obviously I just feel like it's just not as massive a franchise as it was when, you know, we were growing up when mm. our, like, our parents' age. And, yeah. Uh, and I, I think like, especially you said about like the Matt Damon movie, which I somehow haven't heard of. Like, remember, <laughs> like back in the day, Matt Damon, and who else was in it? Adam Driver and Ben Affleck. Like if like hey, it was a yeah. good movie. It was yeah, good movie. I mean these are like A list actors, yeah. and I, I remember yeah. back in the day if they were in the movie, you'd fucking hear about it. But yeah. nowadays, I feel like movies. It's weird because movies aren't sold on their actors anymore. I feel like. Well, no, there was mm. a, there's an amazing uh, interview at Comic Con with um, I forgot what the name of the guy is. The guy who plays uh, um, the guy with Iron Man. He's like friend John Favreau, John Cheadle. Not John Cheadle. Oh, another Sheik she gone. Wait, no, wait, 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 it wasn't him. Who does, he's a superhero. Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie? Oh, Falcon. that's Falcon. Falcon, that's who it was. That's, that's not Iron Man's <laughs> best <laughs> friend. <laughs> that's that's Captain America's best friend. Come on, oh, Connor. Why is that Get it so wide? <laughs> 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 it's the widest picture. Wide Anthony Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> I, so there's the. So what's yeah. the quote? So so, no, so he he used this four minute interview yeah. at Comic Con, and I mm-hmm. came on my recommended at one point, yeah. and it was him just basically explaining how like you know like Stallone, mm. uh, Schwarzenegger don't sell movies anymore. It's the yeah. superheroes that sell movies, mm. like, yeah. no, and nobody cares. Really, I mean, they do care about the actor who plays it, yeah. but it's not. It's not the actor who brings in the maybe it maybe Robert Downey Jr. It needs to be like maybe, but yeah, it needs to be like the right actor because right. back in the day you could just hire an actor right. for a role. Because like what was yeah. that? What right. was that dreadful uh, movie that Robert Downey Jr. did with like it was like Doctor Doolittle, but like oh sure. yeah, I'm, and like uh, it bombed. Yeah. Yeah, it was like right after Endgame. Yeah. yeah, his first like big movies apparently was this <sighs> awful. Uh, Dr. Doolittle kind of version, and he was trying to do like a Welsh accent or something. Yes. In it. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was it just straight up called Dr. Doolittle? Was it a reimagining of Dr. Doolittle? It was a remake. Yeah, I think it was a remake of Dr. Doolittle. It was like, because movies that don't need remake, Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, because the thing is, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. was massive as Iron Man, but at the same time, I think Robert Downey Jr. was like, just yeah. acting Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He was, like, in, he was green in Sherlock Holmes, to say. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes is true Sherlock too. Holmes. Yeah, but that's because he was also just playing a British version of himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like it's, um, it's like the movie culture I feel has changed and mm. people care more about concepts nowadays. Cause like, even with something like Dune, that's a massive like new movie franchise. Yep. I don't actually know any of the actors in it, even though I know there are some famous actors in it. There's right? some famous actors, Zendaya? but Zendaya like- Zendaya in it? Timothy Chalamet. Zendaya in it? Zendaya. Yeah, Zendaya's oh, yeah, yeah. in it. But like, I, yeah, I like, That's not the reason you're watching Dude. Oh, Jason Momoa is probably the biggest one that's in it. Oh yeah, Jason yeah. Momoa is in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's I'm, like not the reason you're watching. No, it. also in some ways, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that it's 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 straight away from the actors sell movies, not the movie. Like yeah. it kind of is, you know, it it means that we hopefully get different actors. Well, we still don't really, but there's more yeah. chance that you'll go to watch a movie because people because say of it's the good, concept, not yeah, because yeah. Stallone's in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I don't know. Like I was never really. I don't know if this is because like different generation thing, but I never really yeah. cared about the actor in it. No, I didn't mm. either. I mean, it sold movies. I'm, like, I'm for the character, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, for the, exactly. You know, the, if the performance is good, great. That's good, yeah, good yeah. for them. But yeah, like, it's I'm, a bonus I'm, if it's like an actor that you like, right? Yeah, or yeah. an actor that you know is like perfect for the role, but it's like, I'm not yeah. going to go watch. I mean, there's definitely, I, you know, I the can't only one, The only one I can think of is like a Nicolas Cage movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'll watch it because <laughs> but Nick Cage But, that, but that's it. like a meme, right? Yeah, that's, that's like, that's like meme, watching yeah. an Adam Sandler movie yeah, or something Yeah, exactly, exactly. Adam Sandler's like the only guy now who can like sell movies by just being, being him. Adam yeah, like literally just being him. Like, like, he's literally like the only guy who could like make a crew of just fuck like being a, like lazy. Yeah, just like yeah. doing anything. That's true. Yeah, and even then he fucking killed it in Uncut Gems. I'll say this for like the 10 millionth yeah. time. Watch that goddamn movie. It's amazing. <laughs> do yourself a favor. You need to do yourself a favor and watch yeah, it. Yeah, cause like I had this thought the other day. Okay, cause okay. I was like oh, on, on the topic of celebrity culture. Mm. I was like, do you think there's going to be someone who is going to be as famous as Michael Jackson is in our lifetime again? Cause I feel like- Probably. Mm. You think so? Probably. I don't know. I don't think there will. Who do you think is the most famous person right now? Kim Kardashian, unfortunately. 
You know, I actually Googled this after I had this thought. Do you know, do you know, do you know who is ranked as num the number one most famous celebrity well, let's in the world? Wait, 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 wait. wasn't it like, isn't it like fucking, oh, He's a footballer probably, right? No. Really? What's Leon, the Leonel, um, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi. We're in the top 10 though. What, okay. what, what, what's the occupation? Actor. An actor? Yeah, I was surprised. <sighs> God, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought number, my God, I wish it's Adam Sandler. Number, number two was Donald Trump, which was not surprising. Right, right, now right. Now that I think about it. But number one really surprised me. Male, female? Male. Male. Male actor. Hold on, I can think. Oh, yeah, I can, I think. can think. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't. I didn't intend this to turn this into a Brad quiz. Pitt? No, it is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no no way. Is. And I'm no. just like, is he that famous? No, he is. He is. is he? Yeah, he is. Like internationally. Yeah. Is He's isn't massive. he like one of the most like highest paid actors as yeah, well? Like, yeah, yeah, he is. Because like Fast and Furious movies are like everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. He's also right. he's also one of those actors that looks and feels natural in Everything. like an adult film, yeah. like yeah. Fast and Furious, but also in like a Disney film. Yeah. You know? Is Fast and Furious an adult film? Well, I mean, compared to like Moana. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's, not a, it's not a kid's movie. It's yeah, not a kid's true, movie. He's right, also, true. you know, I mean, say what you will, but like having a recognizable face and figure is yeah. like yeah. definitely a part of it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And just his name's The Rock, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. people are gonna remember that. Zarok. 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 What surprised me is that he wasn't like, he wasn't the first person to come up to mind when it, when I think of yeah. like a famous person, right? Yeah. Um, But he is just- But I he's guess. also one of those guys where you, if you say the name, then you're like, oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, he's famous. It's definitely easier when you're, when you have like a name that's super easy to. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne no, The Rock Johnson. Yeah. And it's also a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. The Pain. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's more like catchy than just Dwayne Johnson. Mm. You know? Yeah, because like, especially like traveling around the world now, you realize that people are just like, people, like there's different levels of famous depending on where you are in the world. Yeah, yeah. Like Cristiano Ronaldo is like, Known everywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Football is right, massive, yeah, except yeah, yeah. for probably like the US, right? That's probably like the biggest place. Well, they all probably know Ronaldo still, right? Maybe. Do they? Maybe. Do they? I don't know. I know, I know I Americans, know, do you know who Cristiano I, Ronaldo and Lionel Messi is? I know at one point David Beckham was like the most like famous person on earth. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. He, I don't think he is now because he hasn't really yeah, done yeah. But I swear, like 10, 20 years ago, he was like yeah. the most famous person. Oh, on yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The because Bender like Beckham phase. Oh well, it's, it's, it's weird to see how celebrity culture has evolved, right? Because I'm like, how I how I got onto this thought was I remember I got recommended a clip of a mm. Michael Jackson concert. Mm. And it was just literally like Michael Jackson standing up on the stage, standing <laughs> still. And then people are just like passing out in the crowd. It's, it's fucking it's, it's, insane. It's, yeah, I, 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 I've seen, so there's this concert, there's a really famous concert, it's on YouTube, right? The opening, right? Yeah. It, the, the lights come on. And then from from the stage, there's like a trap door that opens, oh yeah. and Michael Jackson literally <laughs> shoots just out, like like and emerges just, out with some sunglasses, and he's standing there. And yeah. I swear, for ten minutes, this crowd is losing their fucking. <laughs> there, there are people he, like he literally, literally just stands there. He like he like the, the literal clip on YouTube is called Michael Jackson stands still and people pass out. Yeah, <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> he's, he's not even moving. He's not like it's fucking Bruh. insane, and it's just like insane to think that. Like he was like back in the day, he was put up to like almost godlike status. I mean, I can't imagine someone today having that kind of reaction or anyone today having that kind of reaction. I mean, I, reaction. I feel that way as well. Whenever I look at, you know, like Beatlemania clips from like the 70s. Yeah, right? yeah, of, exactly, like, right? People oh, losing their mind to the Beatles, right? What's BTS now, right? <laughs> You think, I so? I don't, you think so? I don't think it's to the same well, level yeah, as the it's Beatles. Not to the same level. Yeah, I think the thing is with, uh, I don't know. I think I think BTS is in like- <laughs> BTS fans are like, oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I mean, it's, it's the, I think it's the closest thing we've had to that level of like intensity. True. But true. I don't think we've had any I think though, the thing is it doesn't look as intense because a lot of that is all online now. That's true. Whereas true. back yeah. in the, during Beatlemania, like right. if you wanted to go see the Beatles, you had to go physically to go see them. That's yeah. true. That's true. I, th I think another thing is that you just know way more about the celebrity nowadays because of social media. Yeah. And it's like, it kind of like humanizes them more yeah. than before when your only exposure to them was through, was through like mm. t like news media and TV yeah. and like, like interviews movies and, and stuff, like stuff like that. that. Yeah. And that was the only slice you got behind what was what their lives were. And yeah. now every you know about everything. Like you know the good and the bad. Like I remember it, it's so weird seeing 
seeing like, for example, Chris Pratt. I remember when everyone fucking loved Chris Pratt. He was like, he was like, he was like the golden child yeah, he was. of the internet. Do you, do you mean now? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. No, no. And, then, and then suddenly, and suddenly people just started hating him. I can't remember what set it off. I didn't even know why it was really? set off. But- uh, it might've been the, I remember he did like a lot of Christian remarks that a lot of people like were not like happy about. That. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Laugh, yeah. I guess I missed that arc of Chris yeah, Pratt. I, 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 was- I missed that arc. I just like one day I woke I- up and it was like, it was cool to like Chris Pratt. And then right. I woke up on another year and everyone was suddenly hating And now him. it's cool to like Chris Pratt again because yeah. he's getting every role. I could be mistaken on this. Yeah. I know that a lot of people got annoyed at him uh, around the time of like, I think when, um, just James Gunn got fired from Disney. Yes, yes, yes. And like everyone from Guardians of the Galaxy like, Try to like, uh, like, uh, well, like openly like supporting, you know, James Gunn. Yeah, I yeah. think I think Chris Pratt didn't really do anything, and that like kind of rubbed people the wrong way, or he gave mm. some vague Christian esque statement that people didn't really like. Right. Yeah. I, I know that was around the time. Then I first started seeing stuff people like didn't like Chris Pratt. Mm. Yeah. But I, you know, I mean, it's it's all you know, the internet's like that. Though. Now you can't stop hearing about Chris Pratt because not only now is he Mario, I can't he's Mario. but he's also yeah. Garfield as well. I can't believe. Yeah, but bro, wait, get, is he Garfield? Yeah, he's he's voicing Gar- Garfield. Wait, well. what? Yeah. When did this get announced? Like Today. this morning. Oh, shit. So like, so like the real MVP here, Chris is Asian is like fucking- ins- Oh yeah. Who yeah. the fuck is that Asian, bro? Yeah. <laughs> this man is insane. Like, they need a raise. Bro, this Asian man, you better keep it on lock, man. This agent is <laughs> imagine built if different. Just like your Asian just walked in and was like, oh, by the way, you're gonna be voicing Mario and Garfield. Next up, next up, you'll see it tomorrow. He's voicing yeah. Gru from Despicable Man. He's taking over Steve Carell, move aside. <laughs> you know not as marketable anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh my God. It's, it's it, yeah, like this morning, especially on Twitter. Why I was is like, Garfield? I was, wa- I, and also, did you hear as well that uh, they're making? <laughs> so you know how Seth Rogen is playing as Donkey Kong. Uh, yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong is getting his own movie as well. That's been confirmed. As Seth Rogen. As Seth Rogen. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, that was confirmed as well. Fuck off. You're lying. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is. It's. It was the weird timeline I woke up to this morning. I'm what? like, Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong is getting his own movie, and Chris Pratt is Garfield. What's going on with these movies? This, this is like the proof that we live in a parallel universe. <laughs> Like, like this is, we've like from somehow like we've jumped timelines and we've not realized that we've jumped timelines yeah. yet. Do you want the Mario movie to be good? No. <sighs> no. Why, why no? I see, I can't- well, d- Define good, define good. Yeah. Do you want it to like legitimately be a critically successful- Like, would, would you think the Sonic movie was good? I actually like the Sonic. I still, I, still <laughs> I, actually, I, I like the Sonic. I, I, still, I, I, feel, I feel like it should go into like that kind of realm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. where it's like critically not nothing to really yeah, look it's at. Just, just but fun. it was good fun. Conceptually, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. What do I want it to be? I just don't know what to think about it. I guess I just can't put my. You know how like when you hear the Sonic movie. And it's like, you can kind of figure out, all right, I can kind of understand where they would go with this cast and these yeah. characters, mm. right? That that makes sense. Yeah. With the Mario thing that they've announced so far, I think the reason why everyone's freaking out is because everyone's like, what the fuck is this movie? Like, yeah. what what are they doing? <laughs> actually, it like, goes, what it, actually is it, this movie going to be? It goes against what we just said, where where we said celebrities can't sell a movie. <laughs> they fucking they sold can. me on this. They, they, they sold they me sold, on the Mario movie. They yeah. sold me by like, I'm like, there is no way this can be a movie, like yeah. an actual thing. Yeah. No, no, because what's so movie. surreal about the Mario movie is that it's a fucking meme. It yeah. is it, it is, it is yeah. a shit post that got made into reality, right? How and is Donkey t- Kong as Seth Rogen gonna contribute to this plot? I don't understand because <laughs> Donkey Kong rarely contributes to any fucking thing in Mario. He's kind of just chilling no, in the, the one jungle, I, I, The one I'm personally excited for is uh, Keegan yeah, playing what, as Toad. How is, yeah. how is that gonna come into this? How are they gonna introduce Keegan as Toad? How does that happen? in the movie. I'm thinking I'm sitting here and I, I, I hope I hope this age is poorly or something. I, yeah, I'm yeah. so confused. And like, even now, like, and then like, and then the real Mario voice actor is gonna cameo. How, how is that gonna happen? Is yeah, he, that's what is I'm he, wondering. Is he just gonna say it's a me Mario and Mario is, is like fucking- It's a you Mario. Yeah, yeah. Is he gonna say it's that? It's not the me. And then Chris Pratt's gonna be like, no, it, it's a me or Mario. And then like, they have this weird fucking rush hour three-esque stupid thing. Like, is that what's gonna happen? I don't know. Like the entire thing could be like a Newgrounds parody animation from like tw- like 2010 or something, you know? It's like an Oni NG. Yeah, like. yeah right? <laughs> Except it's a fucking, it's fucking reality. I and don't then know. it's by Illumination as well, which is also like, yeah. the fuck? Like, I don't, I don't know what's going What have going. Illumination done? Despicable Me. Despicable Me. Oh, okay. And that kind of, those kind of movies. Oh, did they make the uh, uh, emoji movie as well? No, that was Sony. Okay, yeah. okay. Sony, Sony <laughs> movies. Luckily, uh, no. Sony <laughs> movies are. Uh, yeah. 
Well, they had like Into the Spider Verse, and they were like trying to backtrack. Yeah, yeah. I think it's different on different studios and stuff. So really yeah, cool. I mean, I, I think I think that was a different studio, and then Into the Spider Verse is kind of just its own anomaly, yeah, you know, because yeah. there's there's no other animated movie I think that is just like Into the Spider Verse because no. it's such a unique. Still haven't watched it, and I you haven't to. watched it. Oh, See, here's the thing, right? So I really, really, really wanted to watch it in the cinema, and I yeah. just didn't. And then now I really want to watch it, but I'm like, fuck it, we'll just do a disservice like, to watch it. At I home. I thought you just so you're just never gonna watch it then. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I think or, it's or, probably like or, one. Yeah. It's one of the best I animated don't give a movies shit about Spider Man, but I loved. Or maybe one day yeah. I'll just go to like a. I'll find a really rich friend and I'll be like, "Can I go to your home cinema and can we watch Into the Spider Verse?" Because I've been like holding off on it. Like, can we do that? <laughs> I don't have any friends with a movie theater thing. Maybe Face Clan will like one. invite me out. We'll make like, one. The Trash Taste movie. Trash Taste, <laughs> trash taste movie theater. Movies theater. Bro, let's move. Let's move the Trash Taste studio to like. Arkansas or something. <laughs> I bet like we could get like a big plot of land there. Yeah, probably. Make our, own, make, make our own theater. Arkansas. Yeah. yeah, then we can get a theater there. One, Arkansas one, one, fans, what are you saying? Yeah, one thing I'm so <laughs> jealous whenever I see Americans set up their studios or their house, yeah. it's just like, they've got so much fucking space. Well, yeah, yeah. If, we, if we paid the amount we're paying for the studio in America, yeah. we'd have like quadruple the space. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> he, like, like, even even in like living in England as well, we don't get space in England as well. You yeah. know, like That's our houses, lie. our houses compared to Americans are like fucking Although tiny. They are bigger than Japan. It's like I, where I put Japan, UK is twenty percent bigger, and then eighty percent. Well, would you say Japan or Tokyo because it's two two different things? But yeah. even, even outside of you know, you you'll go to the countryside in Japan, right? And you'll look, you'll see these like giant sprawling fields. You'll see four tiny houses just right next to each other. They didn't want any privacy. They decided fuck privacy. <laughs> They're like the rice fields need more room. Yeah, because yeah. that's what the countryside is. It's like yeah, it's like ninety percent rice fields. But with the amount we're paying for this studio, if we were like way outside of oh, Japan, true, true, we'd yeah. probably get like at least double, true. triple the space. I mean, yeah. Some of those houses they're giving them away for free. And yeah, some yeah, of them yeah. are like a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Even, like, I mean, like the housing market in Japan is like not the most healthiest Oof. thing in the world. Oof. I mean, that's what happens when you have a declining population, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, so people are literally giving away houses in some places. It's interesting because Japan's yeah. government is just like, yeah, it's a problem. And then everyone's like, what are you gonna do? And Japan's like, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a lot of social issues in Japan, actually. No, 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 no they say, no, they, they go, oh, it's a problem. What are you going to do about it? Like, we'll make the old people live longer. Yeah, basically. Based the, up the healthcare. Like, their kids will stay on the countryside, right? Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. People want to stay in the countryside. Will he yeah. have a job? I don't know. <laughs> it's really interesting because it's one of those problems that, like, man, it's, it, you can't, you can't, have a platform to campaign on being like, yeah, yeah. I'll fix the problems that's gonna come in 30 mm. years. Yeah. Which is, you know, which is all politics, I guess, really. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Going online without ExpressVPN is like using your smartphone without a case. Don't could be it, a could it be idiot. us. Couldn't be us. Most of the time, you'll probably be fine. But all it takes is one accident drop onto solid concrete to make <gasps> you wish you had protected yourself. Nightmare fuel. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, anywhere, your online data is not secure. What? Any hacker on that same network can gain access and <gasps> steal your personal Are data. You serious? I am serious. She Fuck. And it actually doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone. What? Just some cheap hardware is needed. A smart 12 year old could do it. And Joey, don't forget your, your data is valuable. Is Hackers it? can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal info on the dark web. But luckily ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It'd take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to oh, get past sheesh. ExpressVPN's encryption. All you have to do is fire up the app and click one button to get protected. And you Ooh. can put it on your phone, laptop, tablet and more so you can stay secure oh on the go. Do you use ExpressVPN, Connor? Of course I do every day. So secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash trash taste. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash trash taste. And you nice. can get an extra three months for free. Expressvpn.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. Wonderful. Back to the episode. But no, yeah, I saw the uh, Matrix trailer as well. And I, you know, when, when oh, the Matrix- <laughs> I, I guess so. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, you, you brought up the Matrix. Oh, so yeah. Joey brought up seeing the Matrix Yeah, trailer. I saw the trailer for the Matrix Resurrections, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've watched all the Matrix movies. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot remember what happened in any of them. Me neither. Um, I kind of have because I went on a stint of watching Matrix clips like for some random not reason. Not the movies. The not clips. the movies, the <laughs> clips. And I'm just like, man, I, th I think the second and third movie were way better than what I remember. Cause I was watching oh, these really? clips. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the clips. Um, 
this, this is just how I experience movies nowadays. Gaunt literally doesn't watch movies. Gaunt watches one fifth of a movie yeah. and decides if he likes the movie or not, and then never watches it. I, I, can't, just, like, I can't believe we're about to live vicariously through you watching. I could, because, because, like, I just watch, I just watch the best parts of the movies, and <laughs> the great thing about watching the best parts of the movies is that you get to blank out all the shit that makes you the movie look way better. Yeah, it just makes the movie look way better. So I remember saying in our movie episode that yeah. I don't think the Matrix has aged well at all. Yeah. And I think I I think there was like so many little things that I didn't um, that I didn't really understand when I first watched the Matrix trilogy. Yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, apparently, the co-director said that it was a metaphor for being trans. The whole movie series. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, the Wachowski brothers did. Yeah. End I mean, up, yeah, they're becoming, the Wachowski yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, sisters. They're the sisters. Yeah, yeah, now, so yeah. apparently, yeah, yeah. it was a, me a metaphor about being trans. I'm trying to. Do you, did that pop up in any of the I clips? I, I, I don't know. I, you know, again, this is this is just something I read, and I was like, oh, I don't know that. Oh, like, okay, was, yeah, cool. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what I found what the, what I found was really cool was how the entire world was kind of like built like you know like a program, and I didn't yeah. realize at the time when I watched it as a kid that basically every character like every character like represented a different program or a different. Uh, a different subsystem of the matrix. And I'm just mm. like, oh, there was so much thought that went into this about matrix law that just fucking flew over my head as yeah, a kid. I'm yeah, just like, yeah. oh, cool. People go bang, bang, bang. Yeah, pew, pew, pew. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's <laughs> bang, all bang, I bang, cared. Bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's all I cared about as a kid. And yeah. I, I realized when I was like watching these clips yeah. and like watching videos about matrix law right. and like how and what, did you watch a, did you watch a ten hour YouTube essay about why the Matrix is good and, and you should care? <laughs> no, I watched uh I, I, I no, it was only about four no, hours. It was oh, two hours actually. It was, yeah. it was only about four hours, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I needed someone to tell me what to think about the movie because <laughs> <laughs> That's why I watch Giga to watch to get that with anime. So do you think it needs a new movie? Do you want a new movie of Matrix? I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but you know what? I am curious if I were to be honest. I you know, think if it makes Keanu happy, I'm fine with it. I That's think, what yeah. I stand. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is space for a new movie. Okay. Uh, yeah, the problem I, is I don't remember how the third movie ends. The third movie ends, spoiler alert, uh, with- <laughs> For a 20 year old uh, movie. Yeah, for a 20 year old movie with uh, Neo and Agent Smith fighting. Yeah. And you know, there's they're, they're doing like the Superman shit. Yeah. And then Agent Smith like, I, I forgot, like, what he like puts <laughs> he his hand into ending. Neo, he becomes Agent Smith, and then Neo dies because. Right, right, right. And, right. Then, uh, and then that was it. Epic. And then he, uh, and then humans and machines live in harmony, <laughs> and uh, the Matrix is saved, and uh, that's it. Then it's remade, and uh, I think that's the movie. So, how would you go on from that? It's well, the question. I, 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 I can't remember what the, the trailer of the plot was. It just yeah. looked very confusing. Yeah, yeah. I, ju I just think there is like, because I, that's what got me into it because I saw the trailer. Now I remember because I was like, how are they gonna make a fourth movie? And so that got me to look into the original trilogy. Mm. This is why I got up both once a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like retracing my steps to why I started watching Matrix yeah, clips. Yeah, yeah. And it was, was because of the fourth trailer. And uh, I think there is space because there is space for more storytelling with different iterations of the Matrix. And mm. I think that was one really interesting part of the Matrix that was never been able to, was never explored in the original, which was, this was just one version of the Matrix. Yeah. So there were like, there could be plenty of others and there mm. could be plenty of others in the future. So mm. there's so many ways you can- So, so what you're saying is it could turn into like a fate situation I, with the Matrix. No, I, <laughs> no, okay, no, no, I did it's not a, say that. I did not say that. That was Joey. You said there are multiple universes, multiple timelines. And all I could think and, of was, oh, it's just like, a, it's like fate. There's a moon. Yeah. They have a moon. <gasps> oh my. Okay, so here's, I, I want to watch the movie. Yeah, but I understand that I have to go back and watch the other three. Yeah, and I, I have don't to think you do though. No, really? No, oh, okay. I don't think really? you do. I kind of want to though. But I because, feel like I would I... miss so much yeah. of the point of the movie. But then also rewatching the other movies, uh, you can't not pay attention. If you, it's yeah. one of yeah. those movies where you look away at your phone for one second, you're like, rewind that two minutes, please. Yeah. Um. I. I, I yeah. I do want to watch it. I just don't. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it. It was. It was a different. It was like. It was a different uh, experience going like revisiting the matrix. Like I, I kind of realized how much of an amazing character Morpheus is now. Mm. And that makes me really sad that they didn't get Lawrence mm. Fishburne to uh, oh, yeah, they didn't, did they? come back as Morpheus, even though they got like the main- the Was there a reason suit. why is? I think because they're doing young Morpheus in this uh, one. So, uh, I yes. mean, it might be, might be a plot point. But he was I in John know. Wick. Huh? He was in John Wick. Was he in John He's Wick? He's in John Wick. Is he in oh. John Wick? He's in John Wick. 
Yeah. Oh shit. I did like that Keanu Reeves basically just looks looked like, like John Wick. It was just basically yeah, John Wick. He's given up. The like, I love that though. Like, like I'm gonna contradict myself to my point earlier where I said that I don't watch movies because of the actors. I yeah. I will watch almost anything with Keanu Reeves just because he's such a delight to watch. Oh yeah. Like he yeah. does just have, he always, you can tell he loves it. It's also cool to think that in real life, he's also really chill. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, I know it's like the thing that you do when you're when you're on the internet to, to just adore Keanu Reeves, yeah. but like legitimately, yeah. like when he's on screen, I love watching him. Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah. He's a good actor. I, I, I genuinely feel that he loves every second of performing. Oh yeah. And it's just a delight to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it's just nice to see someone who loves something that they do. <laughs> yeah, man. You know? just, like, it's like, nice like, to see like, someone who loves their job, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's, 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 the, it's the little things in life. You he, know? He's just, you know, even when he's doing these characters, you can just tell like through it that he yeah, loves yeah. it. I don't know why. I don't know how you can do that, but it, it works. But you know, I don't know why, but Keanu Reeves seems like the kind of guy who would like collect merch of the movies. He's, <laughs> yeah, <you know>? like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like that kind of guy, right? He's like, yo, I got this John Wick action figure. It's fucking Bro, sick. John, yeah. John Wick is like some of my most <laughs> enjoyable theater experiences. Like every single time I've gone to watch it in the movie theaters, mm. I've just mm. had such a fucking delight. I've only yeah. seen the first so one. Honestly. It's I've only really seen the first one as well. Yeah. Please watch the other two. They're so yeah. fun. Okay. Really good movies. I'll Is it? The episode, <laughs> watch just, John Wick. Just, just go watch John Wick. Watch John Wick right now. Yeah. Do you know what realization I had the other day? Mm -hmm. As as you guys are talking about movies. Yeah. So um, I haven't been watching movies recently. I've gone back to been, I've gone back to watching anime now. Um, yeah. What? I know, I know. I, just, I, I finished, I finished my, I finished my seasonal video, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I feel like continuing some of these shows okay. out of my all right, all own right. volition. Right. You are what, did you watch, huh? what did you no, watch, What did you? No, I just, I just, I just had this realization the other day. Uh, <laughs> I like as, anime. As, <laughs> as, no, what well, one? That yeah, I actually like anime. Okay. And number two, so I finished watching some of these episodes, and I'm just like, huh. I don't have anyone to talk to this about. Oh no. Once again in my life. I'm so sorry, God. I'm sorry. I, I realize that everyone in my life around me doesn't watch anime anymore. And I'm just like, am I the last I, motherfucker oh, who still right watches on me, anime around right me? Right. Right. I just watch, I watch Normie mainstream anime. <laughs> yeah. I don't watch- If it's not on Netflix, Connor doesn't touch nah. it. Listen, I, I'll watch it if it's off Netflix. Yeah. I'll just begrudgingly do it. I'll be like, yeah. for fuck's sake. Cause it, I, it, okay, go on, go on. It was, it was so weird. Cause like when me and Sydney started our relationship, we'd like, our, the start of our relationship was like, we'd watch like a new show or mm -hmm. something yeah, yeah. Be between us. Like every, every, you know, every time we had some free time. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm just like, honey, you, you want to watch an anime? And she's like, no. Show me a, put on a shitty horror movie. That's oh, what God. I want to watch. Let's let's put on 90 Day Fiance. And I'm just like- Get that Japanese <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> Ew. Um, and I'm just like, okay. So I started my YouTube journey having no friends around me who watch anime. And then I found- <laughs> Too many. Too many friends who watch anime. And I'm just like, every time I hung out with friends, everyone around me watch anime. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then anime. now I moved to Japan, started an anime podcast. <laughs> um, I'm dating a girl who, or, or I'm going to get married to a girl who was a big weeb, an anime fan, and no one for Rami fucking watches anime. What the fuck is going on? I've, I've literally looped back to where I started <laughs> off at. <laughs> Those who don't learn from history are deemed to repeat it, right? It, yeah, it the, is. The cycle of a weeb. <laughs> it, it is so surreal now though, that I know more people who've watched anime and who are like heavy anime fans, mm -hmm. But are now just like now no, just like now just like more integrated into like the weeb culture or like the wider yeah, anime yeah. culture without yeah. actually watching anime. It's it's so weird. You know that meme yeah. where it's like the floor is and it's like the meme. It's mm -hmm. like the floor is watching anime. I'm like yeah. literally doing everything but watching. Anime. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been reading like books yeah. recently. I, I feel like, I, like what you've been reading like books. Just, no, books what? with no pictures, no <gasps> drawing. I won't talk about it because I haven't finished them. I'm, Picks I'm or it didn't happen. I'm, I'm reading a few at the moment. What kind? Like storybooks, information, like books? fictional, non-fictional, fictional, uh, autobiography. Yeah, give, non, give us a taste. Non-fiction. Non okay. I'll, okay. I'll talk about it when I'm, I'm. I'm halfway through one that's really good right now. Okay. It's, okay, a, it's okay. about Japan and it's really good. I'll talk about it when I'm. Wow. Some, some, so something's, far, good. something's something's like okay, but it's like literally the floor is anime, and I'm like fucking jumping in the air. <laughs> like, Dude, what timeline are we? I don't know, man. I'm reading. Connor's bro. reading a book. Chris Pratt is Garfield. Like, all, like I I'm not watching anime. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we are in the matrix right, right now. You, you you know you know all the signs you look for to to like to like see if the world you're living <laughs> is fake. I feel like I, I feel like there's enough going on around me we're right now. That I'm just like we're in the, no, matrix. I'm like, <laughs> we're in the wait, matrix. Right. Okay. Now. Actually, all right. Stop the simulation. I know. I know this. Get, get me, me out. out, get me out. Connor read a book. I'm gonna kill myself. Cause I'm, cause I'm in a simulation. I, wake up. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I watched, actually, I didn't tell you about this. I watched an anime on the plane back to the UK. Okay. Uh -huh. I watched eight episodes mm. and I stopped. I was very angry. 
Yeah. I watched, what was it, 81, 87 was it 86. Called? 86. <laughs> Literally every number. <laughs> <put it on. laughs> Bro, it was shit. Was it? It was bad. You didn't like it? I thought it was bad. I've heard really good things about it. Bro, it was- Like literally what, what, everyone what, what, I know says it's amazing. about it? I like it. What did you like about it? I mean, it, I just like the concept. It's been so long since we've seen like, I, I, I feel like it's the I, closest we've had to like one of these mecha shows that I watched growing up at least, mm. where it was like two nations going against each other. And then s there was some mystery going on and you didn't know what- you Did didn't, you like the mystery? I was so bored by the mystery. I was like, okay, whatever. And then the whole time they were- Don't look at me, I haven't seen the it. Whole time, <laughs> the whole time they were doing the whole thing of like, <laughs> like, you know, you know, obviously, obviously racism is bad, right? Yeah, I get yeah. it. But when they like spoon feed it to you, like yeah. racism, bad, huh? Huh? Here comes the airplane. Yeah, it's like, oh, racism. And it's like, all right, I get it, right? It's, it's like, it's like such an unnuanced take about it that I was yeah, like, right. okay, all right, we get it. Yeah, okay. I, I, I get that. Yeah, I was just so yeah. like, I was so bored by it. I was like, I get it, right? I, I don't need you to tell me that this is like, this is the story. Like this is, yeah. and I should feel sad. So, so they were like over explaining it? Uh, to me, it felt- No, I mean, it was very, it was very much put in your face. I mean, the mm. entire thing was basically based around World War II. But it was kind of like nudging, like, huh, huh? Uh, Ray right, Raban, right, huh? Right, like, yeah. And it was the whole time watching it. Yeah. I, was, I was just so bored and I yeah. was like, and the, the whole mystery aspect to it, I was not enjoying it. So I should, should we roughly explain what the plot of this show is first? Sure. So I- What do you, do you, wanna... what do you remember? Okay, so I'm, is, I'm, very, I'm very curious. This has been a month. <laughs> it's been two months since I watched yeah, this and it was on a plane. I love it when Connor tries, tries to describe an anime. Yeah. There is a main MC yeah. who is a, everyone in this world, right? Is in this beautiful homogenous society. Everyone is the same, has the same hair color and same, you know, everyone looks exactly Everyone's the same. Everyone's white. It's Aryan, bro. They're all Aryan. That's literally what they're trying to do. Right, just right? say That's, that. Okay, they're, they're literally were like- They're everyone, all white. Just say right, that. All white. But, but it's anime Aryan. So they have green yeah. hair instead of, yeah. you know. Okay, right, 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 right. And, and so they're in this world and everything's perfect. And, and they keep doing this fucking stupid thing where they're like, and it was just like, it was so obvious what they were trying to do where it was just not having, an, I was just like, okay, we get it. They were like, every single day they'd be like, we have zero casualties in this war. Isn't that amazing? Zero casualties, zero casualties. Mm, and yeah. the whole point of it is that they have these mechs that are fighting and they're piloted by the other people who are who are not the perfect race. Right. And uh, they make them peasants. fight in the mechs. And uh, they have, they have uh, yeah, peasants, <laughs> peasants God. And they have these, they have these mech, these mech like captains. These are the captains that talk to the peasants. God forbid they have to yeah. talk to them, right? Yeah. Oh, somebody has to talk to them. Yeah. Oh, 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 in this world and our main main protagonist guess what she's sympathetic to the the peasants as they say i'm calling the pe i don't know what i forgot what they're called Guns <laughs> peasants, so i'm running with it now okay? they're called the peasants now i don't they actually think peasants peasants now. Now. so yeah. so she, obviously she's sympathetic and she starts to become friends with them and right. oh turns out these these other race of people they're, they're, they're just normal human beings. Who'd have thought, you yeah. know? And it's just like, it's like, all right, okay. come on, man. Yeah. Like, come on. It like, does sound pretty yeah. dumbed it's down. So like, it's like, it, it's like if you, I don't know, like a Disney movie take on it, you know? Yeah. It, 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 it was just so, it was like Dr. Seuss, like <laughs> cat in the hat level of talking about. Right. I was, I was just like, so like, oh, we get it, come on. We're in the 21st century now. We can yeah. have more nuanced takes about this. I, I, I'll tell you like a perfect an analogy, which will, I think you'll understand, Joey. Okay. It feels like a Gena Rubucci show without being written by Gena Rubucci. So- Yeah, okay. Explain that to me. I get, I get what, exactly what <laughs> okay, you mean by Okay, that. you get yeah, it now, yeah, you get it? Okay. I get it, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah, now yeah. explain that to me. <laughs> okay, so Gena Rubucci is the guy who wrote Psychopaths, who wrote mm. Madoka Magica and- Sayonara. Well, well, Psychopaths I, I thought was amazing and like a really good take on the, the whole societal aspect of that. But yeah. like this just felt like- Yes, yeah, so that, that's what he means. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a show yeah, that's yeah, written yeah, by yeah, Gennaro yeah. Ibuchi, but not- like worse. Yeah. yeah, but like not as nuanced. I'm, I'm yeah. a, is it, do you think it's bad? Am I, I'm a, do you think my, my opinions on this are valid? I mean, I, I, think, I, I, think, I think, yeah. I, I think, yeah, you actually have a correct opinion where it's like very spoon fed into you. The yeah. like racism is bad. And that's never why I kind of liked it. I, I kind of like, more, I, I kind of more gravitated towards like the mystery aspect of just like, cause, cause one yeah. thing, one big thing you missed is they're at war. So this nation is at war with another nation, mm. right? I could figure out that roughly what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Like and, and the other nation has robots that are completely autonomous. Like yep. they, they have technical, uh, they have a technology that is way more advanced and they have AI robots that they're fighting against, mm. uh, except the nation that we're following has human robots, right? Right. Uh, so apparently the nation is like, I, I can't remember the exact details because yeah. I'm not up to date, but apparently the nation has a time limit, right? Mm, and yeah. after this time limit is over, 
then the robots are going to shut down because there's no one yeah. actually telling these robots to fight. I don't know if they uh, like yeah. heard about Y two K. Probably won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, but like, but like, I was, I was more like, what, what drew me into this was more the mystery aspect and more like mm -hmm. the character dynamics yeah. between the main girl and the and the group itself. I, I okay. agree, but at times the character dynamics did feel real predictable and yeah. stale for me. Yeah, and it was just kind of like I, I wanted to know more about the enemy and, and I want to learn more about the mystery, mm -hmm. but everything else was such a slog to sit through yeah. that I was just like- I Is it maybe because it's a concept that you've already seen in anime before? Like, it could be that, better? it could also just be like, I just didn't feel like, although the mystery aspect was quite good, mm. all the other aspects didn't really entice me mm -hmm. uh, personally. Mm -hmm. You know, and also I was on a plane, so it was the choice of like, I can try and get some sleep here or I yeah. can continue watching the show. And it was really <laughs> struggling. Every episode I kept going on, I kept thinking it's really going- You know, it's not a good sign when you have to choose between watching the Literally next episode and yeah. sleep. Literally <laughs> nothing, right? Like I, I, I was, I, I really wanted it to pick up the pace. Like yeah. it was really like taking its fucking time. Mm. And they really- That's one thing I agree on. It does take They really time. like wanted to show that the main character was sympathetic, but like it was obvious she was sympathetic mm. and they just yeah. kept doing things to show that she was sympathetic right. over and over again. Right. And I was just like, I get it. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> we all know. We get it. There's lots of sympathetic and MCs like, out there. And <laughs> like, it's, it was just so frustrating watching the show where they just had the same copy and paste like, action where she would talk to someone. They'd be like, oh, don't talk to the peasants. And then, then she would be like, but I, I like them. And then she would, she would literally have this conversation with everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, okay, maybe that would happen in real life if the situation was real, but it was just so boring that they had to show it every goddamn time. We get it, it's not normal. That's uh, I, not I, I, I also think it, it was bad timing that this came off, uh, came out after Attack on Titan, which is like, I think a way better yeah, that, mm -hmm. way to show that's, some of the themes that 86 that's was true. showing. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Right. I, I, think, I think Attack on Titan was kind of like a masterclass in that sense. It's mm -hmm. Like it took aspects of Attack on Titan and weirdly Code Geass in some sense with the whole Britannian and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And didn't really land it with any of them for me personally. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't feel like it nailed it, but it got a second season. So clearly it must've been well, good no, well I mean, enough. The, well, the, I've, the, I've second, the yeah. second season is like the second half of the story. So yeah. it, it's it's kind of more like just a continuation. Yeah. And I've, I, I've only just heard good things about it. So yeah, we surprised. spoke about anime, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but well, we, we got more anime, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I've, I've, do you think I've been watching anime? No, I, <laughs> Joey, I, I, Joey I, watching I anime? Joey, get out of here. I do want to watch. Yeah. I do want to watch Platinum End though. I do want to watch Why? Because it looks edgy. It looks fun. Oh yeah, it is edgy. I've, it I've, I've read it. It, it looks dumb and fun. I've yeah. heard this, I've heard the ending of that is like really bad though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah in terms of it like- is. But it looks fun. It looks like it it's is. shit. Like it looks like the high, high rise invasion shit. Like it looks like it's bad, but also- Is fun. that what you look for nowadays? You know, I'm I'm trying not to be picky with anime because if I'm, if I'm going to be picky, I'm gonna be like Joey and I'm not gonna watch anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Cause yeah. Joey, Joey's read all this shit, yeah. So yeah. He, but I haven't read this. So I'm like, I need to just stop reading about stuff too much and just pick something and watch it. Yeah. yeah. But then I did that with 86 and I hated it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, that might, I mean, I mean I that's, that's, that's a give and take, yeah, right? But it's that might happen with Plan the Man, doesn't it? Yeah. But, but then I feel like if I've at least done that, I can then at least, if I get to eight episodes, and I stop, I probably have more to say than if I watch 12 episodes and be like, eh, yeah. you yeah, know what I mean? True. I have yeah. more to think and I have more to say about it. And then I can go on our anime podcast and talk about it. Why don't, why don't you watch like something like, I don't know, Komi-san? Well, why don't we do, why don't we do a thing where I we, don't think we all- enjoy Komi-san. We all, we <laughs> do you, like a- Komi-san, like, like Connor watching Komi-san. I want to hear Connor talking do, about Komi-san. We should do an anime review like once a month where we all have to watch one different anime and present it like a book club. Oh, that's so much effort for that me. Is that is a lot of effort. Joey's not going to do that. Not I, like, not can like- I, Can I do like a manga review? No. <laughs> We got to watch an anime because we're an anime podcast. Man. We're fucking talking about it. I don't even think our viewers want that from us, no, honestly. <laughs> it's funny because people will like, people will have like 95% of viewers who are, I swear I like, I get bored when they talk about anime. Yeah. And there's 5% of viewers are like, I hate them and talk about anime. Yeah. I fucking hate them. No, they call themselves the anime podcast. No, cause I, I fucking joke. I, I, yeah. feel like, I feel like our viewers have become like everyone around me, which is everyone, <laughs> everyone was an ex anime they fan. They were, yeah. And now everyone just finds themselves watching anything but anime. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so, it's so. I, I have noticed that I think the episodes where we talk about anime, I think are perform worse than the ones we talk yeah, about normal do. stuff. So people don't like it. But it's weird because <laughs> the clips perform better. Yes, yeah, yeah, so well, I, like, mean, I mean, I mean, it's I mean, because people- I, I, don't, I don't let the yeah. fucking viewers yeah, decide I mean, what we talk about. I, I, I talk, talk about anything. what I want to talk about, yeah. you know, and yeah. it's I, it's it's weird that, well, uh, yeah. it's it's weird that, I mean, it's not weird because people want, people want us, I'm sure, to talk about certain shows mm. and certain series, because um, that's just gonna perform better in well, a short yeah. lifespan. But as a whole, yeah, people just want to hear us talk shit and yeah. uh, chat about what's been happening in their lives. 
which uh, right now has been not so much. Because, this man's moving. Yeah, I've been moving. It's and moving. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost done, okay? It's, it's almost really? done. My, really? my, yeah, my setup's never, almost done. It's never almost done. You think it's done, right? <laughs> okay, you okay. think it's done, and then there's something else that pops up. Yeah. All right, all right. How, do you, how did you guys decide how you want to decorate your rooms? Uh... Okay, you know what the hardest I'm thing- I'm gonna sound like a fucking robot right now, okay. but I'm just like, I look at a blank canvas, right? It's and I know, I, I know I'm know i meant to show my personality and I'm just like, what do I show? How do I okay. show personality? <laughs> well, okay, I, so, give me a blank space, so, I have so no idea what to do. Here's what I did, right? In my head, I had like, all right, I've got all these Jojo posters. That's a yeah. must, that's going somewhere on the wall. Mm. I've got these big ass walls. All right, so then I know that's going there. So then <laughs> I kind of have to figure out what goes in between the posters or what yeah. goes around the yeah. posters. And then it kind of starts to kind of form. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, here's what I want. I want soundproofing. I want uh, I want carpet. I want soundproof squares. So I have an idea of stuff I want. Yeah. And then it's kind of putting it together and then thinking, okay, how would it look like that? If, you know, my old room, it was like, I want this thing on the wall. That's it. I want posters of this, this, that, and that. Yeah. yeah. So like, for me, the problem is, is that my room and the rest of my house is yeah. designed by two different people. Right, so like true, my true. room is yeah, me. but your room still looks good. Though. Yeah, my my yeah. room is good, but like the way we the, the way myself and Aki think about interior design is completely like on the opposite end of yeah. the spectrum. Question: Would you decorate your bedroom if if you lived alone? Yeah, really. What would you decorate it with? No, I don't know. Just I, 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 I I've no. never decorated my no, bedroom, never before, decorated which is which is why it's so fucking difficult for me, right? Because the way I approach wait, wait, interior. Are, wait, are you going to decorate your bedroom? Well, yeah, no, oh no, my office, sorry. Oh, my so office. yeah, so yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's it's the same kind of deal where my approach to interior design is my same approach I have with like engineering. It's all about practicality, and that's just not good for interior design. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just like I I know because here's the th here's my okay. biggest problem with w trying to fill up my room right now or my office is I know what looks bad, yeah. but I don't know how to make it look good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See, because like if you were, if you, if you're an engineer when it comes to interior design, I'm like yeah. a programmer where it's like, if white wall equals true, fill white wall with something. <laughs> it's like that's it. It's like it's like there's no like there's no like opinion of like oh maybe I should put something here. It's like no. If there's yeah. a space on my wall, I'm yeah. gonna find something to fill it up. Yeah. I, one thing that's good about living in Japan mm. is that Japan is extremely focused on practicality yeah. of yeah. like everything in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything has to be. Practical. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of took a lot of that in mind when I made my office. I, I, I'm, I'm going to make an office tour video at some point on my main channel mm. where I just go through everything that I did in the office. Cause mm. I think it's really, I, I think I did. I'm really happy with my office. It mm. took me goddamn yeah. forever though. It's um, also easy views. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's also yeah, easy yeah, views. Yeah. But also I want to talk about it cause yeah. it took me goddamn forever. So I want to get some value out of it. It took me yeah. two fucking weeks just to soundproof the fucking room. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I think it's really easy to decorate a room in Japan when you can think more on like practical sides mm. of things. Like you're like, okay, I want this here. Like I want all my anime figures, yeah. but I don't, want, I don't want them in just like a cabinet, like a glass one, because mm. I want to be able to move it so I can access the cupboards behind it. But I yeah. don't want it on the wall with all the posters because it'll block them. So yeah. it's kind of like, all right. So there's like 10,000 things you got to consider, but you're just trying to like compute them all. But, but then at some point you just got to do something and then yeah. see how it looks. Cause, mm. And hope you didn't waste yeah, a ton of money. Because, because <laughs> that's that's like, as, as I've just established, I hate wasting time. Mm. And I'm just like, I just want something that looks good. I just don't know how to make it look good without just trying it out. Yeah. What, if, what, if, what, if, what if I like rearrange all my furniture after I've just spent all this time mm. building it and like, you know, it's, Doing my measuring, desk setup, measuring, measuring. and then it just looks shit. What if it just looks shit? Because like I'm, I have a bunch of like anime merch, yeah. and like I just, I just don't know how to make it look good. Like I've tried putting my anime figures on like a shelf or something, yeah. and I don't know why. I just don't think having a bunch of anime figures on a shelf looks good for my for my aesthetic. I say this, well, I said it was with all this shit, <laughs> but I think it works for our aesthetic. Yeah, right? and I, it, it's, I don't know if we, we came to this by luck or if it just. You know, it okay, just so works. so the way that Aki does it, which I think is kind of genius, is that what she does is when we first moved in, right? Mm -hmm. I, I was like, I'm gonna do my room, you do the rest of the house, because yeah. you clearly have a better sense of it than yeah. I do. So what she does is she took photos of mm -hmm. the empty room, right. and then she would go into Photoshop and literally just Photoshop in different things that she was thinking to buy to like move it around. Oh, I don't and have if, talk. And <laughs> Holy if, shit! And, and, <laughs> and, if, and if it looks good, then she buys it yeah. and puts it exactly where she envisioned it to be. Mm, yeah. And and because then you know yeah. what it looks like before you yeah. bought it. Yeah, just, just I'm like buy, it's kind of big brain. Yeah. Buy what you need, measure it. Yeah, because yeah. sure well, like one one room, one thing know? I've like noticed around anime merch now. Now mm. that I'm like trying to make my room actually look cool, mm. so a lot of anime merch. Just 
just looks really tacky. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't realize this until now that I've moved to Japan and we've got like some cooler things. But like, I was like, maybe I'll try putting some wall scrolls up. And now, like, wall even scrolls. E even wall scrolls just look like. I've, uh, I've, yes, I've, yes. I've, I've graduated from wall scrolls. Yes, and hello. I have been to an anime convention. That is I, that, that is the look when you put up wall scrolls yeah, now to I, me. I've never understood the appeal of wall scrolls. I'll be honest with you. Me like, I, I, they look shit. I mean, I uh, did because they don't, they like they like yeah. you know like posters. Yeah. You can get them framed. They, yeah. they look so clean, so so like symmetrical as well, so beautiful. Yeah, and then the nice glass panel or plastic, whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. And then you got this like poorly printed piece of paper with two plastic scrolls, the top and the bottom. And it's never like fucking it's equal. Never, the string yeah, just yeah, looks man. so tacky. Yeah, the string looks really tacky. We're just tacky. calling out everyone who has fucking is, right? wall scrolls the, right now, is, which is so many people. But I, I feel, I, I went through that phase though. Yeah, so I yeah. understand, like, I went yeah. through the wall scroll yeah. and poster phase and I'm like, I liked like, it at the time. But then yeah. when I learned about like frame like, stuff, yeah, that's like, when I was like, oh. But here's yeah. the thing, right? Okay. Is that, like that those Jojo posters that I have, yeah. they're $13 per poster. Obviously it's in Japan, right? So yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. And then the frame is like 12 bucks. Yeah. yeah. That's like 25 bucks for a clean ass, massive, like really high quality that's, frame. That's cheaper than a lot of wall scrolls. Yeah, wall scrolls, scrolls yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So like sometimes 30 bucks. Yeah, like yeah. We're talking like even the A4 ones, so sometimes mm. like 20 bucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck mm. that, I'm not paying yeah. that. Mm. And they're always like, they always don't look as good. Like the print is never as clean. Mm. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't see a world. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm past the wall scroll phase as yeah. well, which is why like I, I, I had wall scrolls in my old office and mm. I'm just like, this just looks tacky, but I don't know how to, uh, mm. I, I don't know what I want to replace Boys, it with. Wall scrolls, and now, man. now, now I'm going through that problem where I have to figure out what I want to replace it with. Like I have like, it, it, it's so, it's just you so- You live in Japan. It's so energy. You can, yeah, get, energy you can get these B, because like B4 I, prints. I think yeah. I've like, done like amazing. one cool thing with my office, right? Because mm. I have like, I have like a few cool anime merch and I'm just like, what if I just put this all in a glass case? And I, so I bought like a, a like a glass case, which is like a four, four component glass case. Mm. I know and I, you know, I filled it up like the top one was the Jinji Ito bag yeah. that, uh, that I got. Um, the second one was like all the anime watches that I've got as well. Third case was all the wine, um, all the wine equipment, all the anime wine equipment that mm. me and Sydney have collected. And the fourth case is going to be for the Slam Dunk Air Jordans that I found on Yahoo Auction. Oh yeah. yeah. And I, I put it up and I'm just like, damn, this looks awesome. Yeah. And then I realized that's like one one hundredth of the entire <laughs> fucking room. Fuck. <laughs> that means you gotta start collecting more stuff. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it looks cool, but like it's like compared, like putting it next to everything else, it just looks so empty now. Dude, that one tenth of my room looks empty. I know, right? You got, bro, the, the, the people, when they rob your house, man, they're going right for that cabinet. <laughs> All the, the entire gone Manitoba wealth is stored in that one glass four cabinet. Like you've been collecting JoJo figures or JoJo fucking merch. And I'm yeah. just like, this is, this is my, this is how my collection starts. Starts. Yeah. yeah, starts with one cabinet. Yeah, my God. Yeah, no, I, I, I got, I bought one of those. Um, I didn't buy a glass cabinet because I wanted to be able to move it because it's blocking my cupboards. Mm. So I bought one on wheels that I can just kind of like shove out the way. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. one thing I definitely underestimated was how heavy glass is. Oh um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, extremely so. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, why? What made you? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, well, I mean, well, I felt, like, oh, I felt, that looks light. I, I, I felt like there was another point coming. Oh, there. Sorry. Like, I was, <laughs> you literally just went. Glass is heavy. Yeah, I was waiting. I was like, okay, why? Why did you learn this? What made you realize? Uh, okay, this? because God because is like glass heavy. Thank because, you, uh, my I, just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> my, my my point was that glass was heavy, and I did not like. I did, did not what, you didn't think it was in. heavy? I didn't, I just- It's fucking glass. <laughs> I didn't think about this, okay? I don't think about this shit. Wait, I think everyone knows glass is heavy. Because Water like, is wet. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I get, because like one big issue I've had with living in a house now is that yeah. you have to carry things upstairs. <laughs> and uh, luckily enough, my office is on the ground floor yeah. because I had the choice between mine being on the ground floor and mine being on the top floor. And yeah. I'm just like, I want a glass case, obviously. Yeah. And I'm just like, once I got the glass case delivered, I was just like, 
was glass oysters heavy? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Because yes. I don't know how I was meant to carry this upstairs if I needed to, but thank God I didn't Damn, need to. Glass in Japan is really fucking heavy. <laughs> yeah. So that, so that was my story. Gaunt discovers that that glass, that Gaunt discovers glass <laughs> is heavy. <laughs> hey man, I saw I picked up like this metal thing. I was like, yeah. shit, metal's kind of heavy. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, that was one thing definitely when I was designing my office where I realized I thought I had a lot of stuff. But then I realized that a lot of it was stuff that was on my wall. That was things like posters mm. and wall scrolls that I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time to change it up. So yeah. I, so then I got really picky with what I would put on the walls, right? Yeah. So now I've got like, you know, my Junji Ito bag, I've got the Faku skateboards, yeah. I've got the, you know, my YouTube play button mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, st stuff that is yeah. more limited and like extravagant looking. Yeah. yeah. And then I realized, oh, I actually don't have a lot of stuff that is actually of value. Right, right. And uh, yeah, and then I went on this like crack binge of buying expensive shit. Oh now, uh, now I have the reverse problem where I have too much stuff now. So I had to yeah, buy your, like- Your room is just like the wee haven, you know? My, my room is, I, I've somehow, I don't know how, when it happened, but I, I've turned into like a snobby art collector. When it comes to like, I, I, I think I'm going through that stage yeah. now. Where I'm like, I haven't got there yet. I'm just like JoJo. Just give me JoJo stuff. Like every time I go to an exhibit now, I'm just like, so where are the expensive paintings? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck the mugs it's or the posters. Anime does yeah. to you, man. Yeah. Fuck the t-shirts. Fuck the mugs. I don't, the I don't, paintings? I don't want your fucking figures anymore. Yeah, yeah. Don't want the posters. Yeah. Don't want the fucking wall scrolls. Yeah. No, I don't want any of the shit. Give, where give are me, the give paintings? Me, give me the cool shit. Yeah. Give me the cool shit. Where's the limited shit? Yeah, exactly. Right. What can I frame? What can I? What can I display in a glass box? We're going to do the anime figure special at some point you guys are saying this shit what the fuck yeah. <laughs> i love figures still uh, yeah jojo no I'll, I'll, I'll i'll you know i'll walk into like a figurine shop and i'll be like so uh, were there more than a hundred of these made don't want it <laughs> wow <laughs> give it a limited wow. shit because oh, your privilege is showing does this come with a certificate of authenticity oh my god because <laughs> no, the, the wealth is, has gone to this man's <laughs> head but the thing about figures is that you just need a fuck ton of it before it looks any good yeah. otherwise it just it's it just looks a little bit tacky it because does. it just it's it's too small yeah. to be a centerpiece but it needs to occupy like some space, right? Yeah. And it just it just looks, mm. I don't know. It, unless you have like a really, really massive figure, mm. it does, to me, it doesn't like, it's- But even then, like a really, really big figure can still look a little tacky depending on where it is. That's yeah. where I've like, cause, I've, cause I have that like massive berserk figure. Oh yeah, you do. And I'm still to this day trying to figure out where to put it. Because it's yeah. like everywhere it's I've, I've like envisioned it, putting it in my room, yeah. it just doesn't look right for some reason. And I realize it might be because I need to have it next to a bunch of other figures. Yeah. But the problem is my it's figure shelf is like tucked away in a corner. You can't, yeah, you so can't. I can't put it in. Yeah. So I'm like, well, fuck. I have to like put this like shit in the yeah. living room or something like- Coffee table. Coffee, coffee table. Put on yeah, put it on the coffee table. Yeah. Put put on the the coffee whole <laughs> Now, isn't this like that fucking, what, what, what's that word that's used to describe how the energy of a room is dictated by feng, feng, shui. feng shui? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, trying to figure out the feng shui of my giant bazooka. Yeah, I, 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 like as I, a kid, I'm just like, this is stupid. That they're like, <laughs> you could just put things and it doesn't matter. Now I've realized, well, my mood is affected by how my room looks. And yeah. I'm just like, why, why is well, this I a thing? I, I wouldn't go that far personally for me. I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, whatever. Feng, like, feng shui though does get pretty ridiculous at times. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, yeah, it's like you'll get bad luck if the yeah, building yeah. is the well, wrong yeah, some, shape. Some of that is ridiculous, yeah. but I don't know. Even like my bedroom, because mm. uh, like I sleep better now because our bedroom is orientated differently from my old bedroom. Mm. And I just realize, oh, it's just because of where it is in relation to where the window is. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, where, <laughs> I'm was it, like, where was it before? Huh? Was it no, not near a window last time? No, it wasn't. It was like on the opposite side of the window, <laughs> because I because that's well, yeah. I mean that, that yeah, would that make probably sense. I mean, help. generally, I think seeing like outside is you make your brain happy. I yeah, think. <laughs> yeah. normally, normally, your brain like that. Yeah. Your brain like that. Yeah, yeah. Like for that. me, like because back back then, I was just like, where can the bed take up the most efficient amount of space? Right in that corner, yeah. right away from the window. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just if like, you have room to put it in the middle, you put it in the middle, right? But then that's like that's like a big brain saying like, I have yeah. space. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's right. a flex. I don't, know, I don't know. These other sides of the beds, I don't even need them. <laughs> Nothing needs to go there. I'm gonna put the bed in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I know it's weird. This is the first time I've actually like tried to wow. think about this rather than just like going. Man autopilot. discovers interior I, design. Yeah, man design. discovers but interior for me, design. It was like, oh man, I got more space on my wall. Guess I'll buy more JoJo prints. Yeah, I'll, right. Uh, just, I'll buy double. Yeah. So now I have double the JoJo prints on my wall. <laughs> But I've got like a nice, really cool wall of JoJo. It's really nice. Yeah. Nice, what have nice. you done with like the rest of your merch that you built up at your place? Oh, uh, the JoJo? Yeah. It's all on one, like four shelf rack. 
All right. I managed to place it, and then I put like the anti-earthquake things on the figures that uh, would mm. fall over. Oh. So yeah, that's uh, I managed to somehow get it all in, but then I've got a bunch of other stuff in other cupboards that I can't like display. Like I have like uh, a really big wooden oak box mm. filled with the JoJo ties. Mm -hmm. Oh like, right, 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 Separate right. and like neat yeah. and presentable, but, yeah. but there's nowhere to put it because like yeah, I don't know. I can't just put it on the floor. It's the JoJo ties. You can't go on the floor. Are you insane? <laughs> Lose its value. <laughs> exactly. I, I own 14 or 15 something JoJo ties. Jesus, literally right, yeah. every JoJo tie that's ever been. I actually don't. There's, there's, like there's like 24. Oh, really? And uh, I have all of the ones from part four, which is 12 ties in total. Holy shit. I think it's 12. <laughs> they, so there's 12 ties from part four, and I think there's like eight or something from part five. Right. I didn't buy all of them from f part five. Mm. So yeah. you, you, you know, like when you were a kid, when you'd see that documentary about that guy or girl who, who would collect like Barbie doll and Ken dolls. <laughs> You yeah. become that just with Jojo, man. Yeah. I have not. Don't you dare. <laughs> you're, you're, no, because they, they would- forward, Fast forward to like Corrin no, 50 they would, years. They would go around and be, they would dress up like Ken and be like, I'm Ken. And they'd be like, please call you're me Ken. Everywhere you literally, everywhere you go, you, you wear a fucking Jojo you wear a suit. Jojo suit. Oh, suit. oh, come on. That's, dude. It's this, like the only is, piece of drip you is, own. This is the meme where it's like, we are not the same. You wear Ken outfit, I wear a Jojo suit. We are not the same. <laughs> Garn, Garn wipes his ass, I, I pressure wash my ass. We are not the same, Garn. Don't compare, right? Don't compare me to those fucking people who cosplay. We are not the same. I wear drip. They wear outfits. You, it's not the same. We're wearing one suit mm -hmm. everywhere you go does not count as drip. One everyone suit, looks good in a suit. Five suits, Garn. Every, everyone five. looks good in a fucking everyone suit. Everyone looks good in a suit. Not, no, no, they don't. No, they don't, bro. No, they don't. You'd have to do something like really, really bad to fuck up looking good in the suit. Yeah. You could, you could do it. You could do it. How? Let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look bad in general, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> just be really ugly. Just, just get a bad fitting suit. But yeah. uh, if, if yeah, you're- you know, Get one too long, too short. You yeah. Know. yeah no. Wear your dad's suit. That's pretty much you anyway. Yeah, yeah, wear yeah. your dad's suit. But if it's fitted, then everyone looks good. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, sorry, gee, I, I don't, don't want to concede this point. Cause, <laughs> right. Because then I'm, then I'm, I'm admitting I'm, it's I'm, the I'm power sticking of the by suit. this. I'm sticking by this point because I can't remember. Someone did like someone did like an anti tuber drip tier list or something. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I can't remember who it was. And I remember oh, yeah, you I were like, like Moodon did one, right? I, 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 don't, I don't think it was Moodon because whoever whoever this person. Oh, the first one. Yeah, the first yeah, one. Yeah, whoever this that. person was. Yeah, yeah. Like put Connor in like S tier, and I'm just like Connor does not deserve to go in fucking S tier or drip. He just wears one fucking JoJo suit and calls. Everyone I cause it a day. Five everyone, JoJo suits. Everyone is blinded by the JoJo suit. Yeah. That is not drip. <laughs> as the, as I'm they, sorry. As they should be. It's a good suit. It looks If sexy. everyone had a JoJo suit, everyone would be an ST. <laughs> well, then everyone should get a JoJo suit, Joe. <laughs> That's not drip. Just you wait. I, would want, I want to start a charity service to give everyone a JoJo suit to move you down yeah. the drip tier yeah. this corner. <laughs> That's how much I care about this shit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I saw that. I saw wait, that too. I'm going to come back in a few weeks with more drip. I also. saw that tearless video and when they put Connor on ST, because of the JoJo suit. I'm like, this man literally is in an S tier while yeah. wearing an Emio like shirt. I'm like, yeah. how the fuck? You're gonna say, you're gonna tell me the same fucking Emio shirt <laughs> that he wears on like every other week of Trash Taste, puts him in S tier yeah, on drip? Right? No, that is, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. That is a I'm good... like, I got a fucking B tier compared to this one. <laughs> you are, you this are. Person. Bro, you are B tier drip, man. Get off my S tier, don't no, talk. No, what's worse is that I was also S tier, but I worked for my shit. Yeah. Like I actually have like a wardrobe full of shit listen, and I get beaten listen. by one JoJo suit. Which I also have. Yeah, which we all <laughs> fucking own. You should get. We should get five then, shouldn't you, Gone? And then we'll talk. You oh have God. one JoJo suit. I have five. We are not the, the same. The weak gone. standard of drip is so low. That's what I learned that yeah. day. It's because it's because you know the. Suit. I'm not normally salty, but I'm that, that day. Yeah. I was salty. That I'm was like, the day I'm I was like, like what this, the fuck? This is my confirmation that weebs do not have drip. Yeah. <laughs> every, every, every every time I post pictures in the JoJo suit. The perfect suit factory, the maker of the suit, posts it to their Instagram. Do they actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Or at That's least funny. twice they've done it. And yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cheers. They're like, look, wow. look, this is drip. Yeah. See, the makers of the suit agree. <laughs> I, I should be, I <laughs> am, I am drip. I don't think they're posting they it. They made the suit. I, I don't think they're reposting it because they think it's drip. I think they're reposting no. it because they fucking made it. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. They're reposting it because they're like, shit, man. He looks they're, like, they're like, this post got viral. We yeah. can no, post it. No, we might wear suit. Daiso socks and yeah. put it up on an Instagram post. I'm sure Daiso would retweet no, they, it. They, 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 and they won't bet, say, this is drip. They'll bet. say, 
Thank you for buying our fucking 100 yen socks. All right, let's see it. Let's watch it happen then, Joey. All right. Do it. Well, no, I'm not going to because I don't wear Daiso. No, no, no. I don't wear Daiso socks. I'll buy you a pair. Fuck Daiso socks. It's all about the family. It's all about the It's all about the fucking family. Oh, you wearing it now? It's all about the family Mart socks. Have we ever talked about this before? I don't know. So Joey and Gart came to me one day and they were like, have you worn family socks before? Family Mart socks, which is a convenience store, obviously in Japan. Yeah. I was yeah. like, no, why would I wear Family Family Mart socks? Because uh, they're amazing. And then they were like, yeah. they're the most comfortable socks on earth. Yeah. And I was like, all right, okay. So one sense. of my one of my gaijin friends living here like told me about this like revelation, being like, have you heard? <laughs> he came to me like fucking Jehovah's Witness, like, have yeah. you heard of the Family Mart socks? It's like, no, please do tell. <laughs> mm. And they're like, yeah, they're really, they're like, I think like four hundred yen, three, yeah. it was like three, four bucks, right, for a pair of socks. Mm. And I was like, how how good could a four dollar pair of socks be at a convenience store of all places. Yeah. Wore it, felt like I was floating, bro. Right. <laughs> Literally, and then I was like, I have to tell, it was like, I, I turned I, I, into I, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got, you got, turned, you got turned into a, like a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, I was so converted. He, he starts preaching to me about this. <laughs> I was around his house, right? I was around his house. Uh, we're playing Mahjong and he starts preaching to me. I'm just like, it's just, just fucking socks, Joey. Yeah. Aki, Aki comes back with like five pairs of socks <laughs> and goes, yeah, I'll, I'll give you one for free. I'm like, I don't need this. It's, yeah. a, it's a pair of It's literally the guy giving the Bible. Oh, what, it's like, yeah. just, just give it a go. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> what, 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 yeah, what, what am I going to do with this? And, it, and I remember I, I got home and I put it put it in, in the corner. And I remember we had a trash taste recording the other day mm. and uh, I hadn't done my washing the day before. And mm -hmm. so I opened my drawer, empty sock drawer, except for the one family mask sock. And it was, <laughs> it, it, was just, it was just staring me in the face. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, fine. I'll wear the family mask socks. <laughs> And like, um, I, there's this one scene from Rick and Morty where Rick, uh, where Rick gives Morty like the perfectly flat piece of land, right? Do you, do you remember that scene? I think so. I can't remember. It's where, where it's like perfectly flat and yeah. Morty's like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's just perfectly flat. And he steps on it and he literally starts coming, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and I was oh, like, yeah. but I was like, oh, it's just fucking socks. How good this, how good, how good could this be? And I put it on and I'm just like, Oh, <laughs> it fits so snugly. Oh, it's 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 hugging my feet. Oh, what what is what is this feeling? It's what is this cotton? It's so soft. It's like it's like I'm walking on sheep right now. What is this? And I, and I text Joey, and I'm just like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> Fuck and I was you. like, "I have done it. I have converted him." I don't know why it feels so smooth and so silky smooth on your skin. Yeah. I, I can't wear any other socks. Well, you, you want to feel, know something? It feels like a thousand kisses on your feet. <laughs> my my favorite pair of socks mm. from okay. uh, that I bought two years ago. Yeah, yeah. it's from Lawson's. <sighs> telling you, they do a black pair of socks. And they are like the cleanest socks I own. Are they as good as the Family Mart socks? Yeah. I think they're better. I doubt. I, you doubt. gotta try. So doubt. I, I bought doubt. these socks right for two years. I've been washing them. Uh -huh. We are they we have, are with the Family they, Mart gospel yeah. right now. They have not. They have not lost their like firmness. They haven't worn out at all. You know how sometimes you get socks that go crinkly and they go hard after a while when you wash them because they've been used so much. Mm. These socks, like, fucking warriors, bro. They're like day one. They look no different. These socks are amazing. Do not be mad, brother. He's just lost his way. <laughs> <laughs> he has lost his I'm way. I'm we will we will guide him. To the right direction. You, you guys give me a pair of family mart. I'll give you guys a pair of the Lawson's black okay. socks right. I have. Okay. You'll see. You'll see. Ooh, a trash taste uh, sock trying. <laughs> You'll, see. You'll see. You'll see. These socks are in, in, impeccable. Uh, it's, 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 it's so insane because I remember walking into a family mart uh, in Tokyo yeah. the other day and they literally had a table just for the family mart socks <laughs> by themselves, which just shows how far the gospel has spread. Yeah. That they've like literally got a table front and center in the combini just I've never for these seen fucking socks. The it's it's yeah that's because they're probably always sold out yeah like every I, I think I've been to about four or five different family marts after I first <laughs> tried the socks and I was like I have to get more so I was like scouting around Tokyo I swear four Wait. the first four or five family marts so, I went uh, to they were all sold out I'm curious what made you buy them in the first place it's it's just like a thing that started with like gaijins living in Japan about like yeah. like one yeah one of the foreigners that was living here like posted on Twitter about like trying out these family mart socks and then it kind of just spread like wildfire from yeah. there and then it made its way to me. It, yeah, it's the, it's the family mart socks and the pumpkin spice latte combo. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Yeah. yeah what was pumpkin spice latte got to do with this? Starbucks, it's a guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, because pumpkin spice latte is in Spa. Pumpkin Starbucks spice latte now. has only just now become really massive in Japan oh because of the guy just living. <laughs> mm. And I guess the same thing happened with the family mart socks. And so everyone was like, all right, I mean, it's only four bucks. I'll try it out. Yeah. And then the gospel spread. <laughs> and I'm like, this is, I'm pretty sure this is how religion started. <laughs>
<laughs> through socks. I, 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 I have one been person says it's good, and then the one, rest one follow. One sock at a time. Religion <laughs> one spread. One sock at a time. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Honey. You know how these podcast ads go. We read a spiel, blah, 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 blah. That's in the script as well, by the way. And then we give you a promo code or a discount, and then that's the end of it. But this time, it is different, <gasps> gentlemen, Why? because this is an ad for Honey. <gasps> and a Honey ad doesn't just give you one promo code. A Honey ad gives you millions of Same. promo codes. That's right. Millions of promo codes in one ad read. Sell when, it to me. All right. So when you shop, Honey will uh, automatically fill in the promo code box for you at checkout. Right? Okay. But it won't just fill it in with one code. One code? Oh It'll dump a ton of codes in there. My oh, God. Every code it can find. But I only oh know God. zero codes, Joey. It knows more than zero codes. Oh my God. Then it tests them in seconds to see if one gives you a discount. And plus, Honey knows where to look for promo codes that are hard to find on your own. Guys, when I was buying your Christmas present, spoiler alert, I might have used Honey to get myself a bit of a discount. Not you gonna cheap lie. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so get all the promo codes Honey can find at joinhoney.com slash trash taste. That's joinhoney.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. Back to the episode. Fuck you, guys. I did it back first. to the episode. Back to the episode. Back to the episode. Going back on the topic of watching stuff, though. Mm. Um, so, as I have been watching anime again, um, I wanted to know if you have had the same experience. Where do the subtitles actively distract you now from like what's going in, on in English? Yeah, if if you have English subtitles on. Sometimes I can turn off the brain part, the part of my brain that's trying to listen to the Japanese. Yeah. Mm. I can just ignore that. Because like but, I, yeah. because like I, this was the first time I started watching anime for my video. And of course I turned on subtitles because I had to understand what was going on. Yeah. Cause I've been watching anime as for like a long period of time without subtitles. And it was so weird turning it back on because it like actively, I, I actually dislike it now. It actively distracts me from what's going on. So you're not screen. watching any anime with subtitles now. I'm trying not to. You have become like, next level weird. I'm, 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 I'm like trying to watch as much anime without subti subtitles on as no. I can, because mm. like what I've realized is that it actually, it actively hurts your language learning process if you have English subtitles on, or, or at least here's, here's the way to I see To an extent, it. yeah. Here's the, here's the way I see it, right? Cause say you have like a Japanese sentence or you hear a Japanese sentence and you mm. want the English translation of that. Mm. If, the, if the translator for the subtitle is doing their job, yeah. they would have translated what they're saying into natural English so that it sounds yes. natural. Yes. Whereas when I'm, when I'm trying to learn Japanese and I'm trying to process the Japanese in my head, what I read in the subtitles and what's being said are like, are the same things, it's but it's yeah. different. Yeah. Like I would actually like, I, I realized this where I think it would be more useful for me if I had Google translated subtitles than, yeah. uh, than an actual like professionally translated yeah. subtitle, right? Because, yeah. uh, what, because when I'm going back and I'm trying to understand something and I read the official translation, mm. I'm just like, well, yeah, that, that, and I, you know, I do my work to translate it. I'm like, yeah, that's what's being said, but that's not how I think about that sentence being heard in my brain. But that's also like the problem, right? Is that I think at the end of the day, like so much of it is nuanced because grammatically it's just so different yeah. that yeah. a lot of it is just complete. Like I've read some subtitles where it's just been completely lost in translation because there are just yeah. some things, so some phrases and ways of saying a sentence and the way of describing something mm -hmm. that is so specifically Japanese mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. If the sub, if if the translator tries to translate it without the translator notes involved yeah. to explain it, yeah. then it just becomes like, it, it becomes so nuanced to the point that it almost becomes like a subjective right, translation right, right. where yeah. it's like I personally think this is what they're trying to say, but right. it's not a hundred percent the same. And I feel that if people try and use that as a way to learn grammar, yeah, yeah. then they're going to get one nuanced way of learning it, which is not True. exactly accurate. Yeah, when I was watching the American films, obviously in, in Japan, yeah. they have the Japanese subtitles. And it's yeah. really interesting seeing how they yeah, translate yeah. It certain is, things. It is, it yeah. is, it is, isn't I'm it? I'm like, oh, that, that would be like a really heavy amount of slang. Yeah. And yeah. I'll just translate it into something extremely simple and mundane that yeah. doesn't really convey the situation. Well, I don't think it does, but no. uh, but obviously it works the other way around as well. But like I watch, I watch uh, actually, you know, it's quite helpful watching Japanese TV because they have subtitles in Japanese on yeah, the screen yeah. every goddamn two seconds, yeah. rip editors. But yeah, they, they have the subtitles on screen. Yeah. And yeah. I find it way easier to watch Japanese stuff with Japanese subtitles. Yeah, yeah Because definitely. I know I know a fair amount of kanji, like basic stuff. So I can normally kind of, it really helps me solidify 
the sentence mm -hmm. because often I just I'm, I'm just intaking and I don't see anything to kind of like mm -hmm. yeah. lay it out. Mm -hmm. And when I when I'm hearing stuff and I can <laughs> see the line, I'm, yeah. I can kind of be like, oh, that's what he's saying. Because yeah. there's some words that can mean like you know, uh, like you only say tara like sauce. Sosh tada, mm, but yeah. then like tada can mean like so many different things in so many different contexts, right? Yeah. If, when, right. it can be like advice, right? It can be like mm. a recommendation of like, oh, you should do this, right? Yeah. Mm. So it's really confusing because sometimes if you stop paying attention for one second mm. and then you hear something like tada, and then you still, you, you're like trying to, you're panicking to figure out what way they're using this word. Yeah. That yeah. could mean so many things. Yeah, yeah. And so it's really confusing, but then having the subtitles in Japanese, oh, okay, well, that, I just saw the first part and I glanced at the second part. I can mm. figure out what's going on. I think every language is like that though. Yeah, like even yeah, in yeah. English, right? Where it's like the word of, for instance, True. right? It's yeah, like, it yeah. can mean a million different things depending yeah. on the sentence, right? Yeah. And Japanese, I think is just like a little more difficult because you know, it again, like unlike in English where there is spaces between words that clearly distinguish between what this word means versus oh, what yeah. this next word means. In Japanese, <laughs> we don't have that. It's just yeah, one I, I, continuous I, flow. I remember the first time I saw like, you know, I, I opened like a Japanese light novel or something mm. and I'm just like, this fucking terrifies me. <laughs> it's, it's just- They're like one, commas, don't it's, know It's her. just one continuous line of text. Yeah. I'm just like, what? The, yeah, the, the only thing that stops it is a comma or a period. Yeah, I know, right? And then everything else is just <laughs> nonstop words. And like, I've never thought I could get terrified by like just yeah. letters before <laughs> until I opened like a Japanese novel. I'm just like, this this is just this is just one line. This is just yeah. uh, where where's the separation? Come on, guys, yeah. come on. I feel like this is a very small nitpick. You know how because obviously in Japanese, right, mm. the subject comes first. Yeah. So more often than not, when they're like explaining like plot twists in anime, mm. it's yeah. so hard to like hype it up because the, the subject comes first. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Gaunt was the killer, killer or something. And yeah. it's not like, and the killer was Gaunt. It's always like- No, know, actually in Japanese, sometimes? we can do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, we can okay. do that where like, you know, for example, like uh, like murder mystery stories mm. in Japanese yeah. do this a lot. Yeah. Oh, where, okay, right? okay. Like, you know, normally if, if someone were to say like, you're the culprit, right? In English, we can do the same thing, right? You can say the culprit is you yeah, yeah, yeah. or you're the yeah. culprit, right? Yeah. Like same thing in Japanese. Give we can say- taste. Give us a taste. So like, you know, uh, like, if I were to say you're the culprit, mm -hmm. right, in that order, yeah. then it'd be Han Nin wa Omai da. Oh yeah, right? true. Uh, yeah, Versus yeah, yeah. Omai ga Han Nin da, which is yeah, you're yeah. the culprit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which one sounds more natural though? Because you, like- They're both natural. Okay, because yeah. what, I, what I noticed about English is that, you know- you sus in Japanese. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, but what, what I've noticed is that, you know, with the translation it, with translating the Japanese like natural English or yes. like something English that reads naturally, mm -hmm. like sometimes you can get the same meaning across in English. It just sounds really jank. You know, especially with how the sentence structure and yeah. Japanese grammar is, right? Yeah, it turns out languages are like nothing alike, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Who <would have> thought? <laughs> has a, has Not a, every language is like English. Has, like, has like learning a second, because like obviously we've all had second languages mm. that we've never really learned. Yeah. Yeah. Has learning like a third language for you made you appreciate Welsh more? 100%. <laughs> 100 percent. Hundred percent. Straight up. No, no, really. Like, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like I you know, I take it for granted. But then again, like I also feel like, God, I've like I never ever wanted to learn in my mind. I, yeah. I always was of the mindset of like, you know, I know this is very close minded, but I was just like, I'm just gonna let's speak English. I already know the language. Mm. I thought that way, right? Mm. Yeah. And and I, I still to this day I hate learning languages. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking trying to learn a third. The fuck is this? Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that, man? I want to learn a third language. I just don't really have the time right now. But yeah. the, the problem I mean, is, that's right, the problem, is that right? you yeah. won't, like, unless you're like one of those people who's just obsessed with languages and mm. learning them, like I, yeah. I feel like you will only learn the other language if you need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is the only reason why I'm doing it. Like I'm, I'm finally at a point where I know people like on, online, they always want to know how you're Japanese and stuff. And it's, and it's so hard to convey mm. how your Japanese is when you don't need to speak it. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't want to speak it online sometimes because it's embarrassing. Like I, yeah. you know, like Chris will always try and get my fucking Japanese out. And I know why Chris is fucking doing it because he wants to feel good about his Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. Cause, cause, cause obviously, obviously Chris's Japanese is better than mine. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like not by much though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, when I see Chris, he has, he has no problem in conveying a lot of like thoughts. Uh, oh, dude, yeah. he'll, when I'm with him, he'll do anything he can to not speak Japanese. Because he just goes, because he's the same. Yeah. It's, it's like the he's same, the same, same boat, thing. Right? Yeah. He doesn't want to do it in front of you because yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna feel like I've been here for eight years. I should speak better. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, like you know, it's whatever, whatever amount you want to learn, you can learn. Mm. I'm, I'm, even though I want to, I want to get better. Mm. Yeah, I've gotten to a point now where 
I can pretty much do everything except for do government documents. Yeah, I, yeah. I can everything is not a problem. I mean, I can barely do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I can I'm, go I'm, to the I'm, bank. I'm that's very, that's yeah. how that's how I know I'm yeah. my, my fluency is increasing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's somebody who came here literally knowing nothing. I'm pretty proud of where I've come from, like yeah. how far I've come. But like you know, it is again. It's it fucking sucks online. Yeah. People oh always, yeah. yeah. People of always course. Fucking because because people people expect you to like reach a certain yeah. level then, by a certain know, time. Sometimes I forget words. Sometimes I forget a word that I should know. Sometimes I forget an easy word. No, like I'm exactly the same. Where like it's. I was putting in hours like every single day mm. for like a good, good like two, three month periods. Yeah. Um, and then I went back to England, right? Um, and it's it's like going to the gym where you like build up this, uh, you, yeah. you, you build up this routine and mm. you're like, oh, great, I'm doing this routine. And then something comes along to fuck over that routine. And then like, it just cascades and you miss a day yeah. and then you miss two days and then you miss a week and you're like, fuck, now I'm starting to forget yeah. shit now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on, go on. And, and like, that's that's where I've, I am at now, where like I, I was making such good progress and then I went to England and then it just cascaded and I'm like trying to have to put the effort into relearn some of the mm. stuff that I knew before and now I just forgotten because I wasn't putting the active hours in every right. day. Yeah. I, I've, I've, speaking of gym, I've really fucking struggled to get back into it. Like yeah. it is hard. I forgot how hard it was to get back into the gym if you fall out yeah. Yeah. because you know, when you're going every week, you don't really get sore the next day much. Yeah. It doesn't really happen because yeah. you're probably eating the right thing. Your body's used to you doing it. Yeah. And like, I, I didn't, I rarely got like very sore. Yeah. Now when I go, I'm sore for like four days <laughs> because I haven't gone in months, yeah. right? So you combine that with like, also having a busy schedule and I want to go more, but you need to go at least once a week or more to yeah. kind of build it up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But now if I'm sore for four days, I'm not gonna go for those four days. And then I gotta pray that my schedule isn't full on yeah. the other two days that I, I'm able and I want to go. Mm. But of course life isn't like that. And most of the time it's, I'm doing something, I gotta yeah, go somewhere for a shoot. Yeah. So it's like, fuck man, like I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get back into this, but it is so goddamn hard to yeah. get back into the gym as an adult <laughs> when you fall out of it. Yeah. It, it is so difficult because most people just aren't used to making a lot of time for it. And it's something that I, I will not, I will not empty my schedule to go to the gym. No, like yeah. I, to me, it's like I, I know I should I should exercise. I enjoy it. I yeah. really I really love going, but I, I want to do everything else first. <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah. prioritize my work first. Yeah, and then I'll go to the gym. Mm. I it's mean, difficult. it's 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 what it's you know it's just being an adult, right? You, have you, you signed up to a gym? Sorry, I have not signed okay. up to a gym. Go, go back to I mean, to? I mean, like, huh? Are you going to? Probably not. I, I kind <laughs> of like, I kind of had this realization mm. where the little free time that we have to work with, I'm mm. either going to go to the gym or I'm going to use that to learn Japanese. And I mm. chose like, I, I made I made the active choice to be like, I'm going to put whatever free time I have mm. into learning Japanese. Yeah. That's my choice because I'm not like, I. before I was like, I can do both. I got time to do, do both. And then what I realized is that I didn't have time to do both. And by trying to do both, I didn't, I didn't either. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so I, I like, I, I knew I needed to like, because the thing is either with gym or language learning, I think discipline is the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like, it's, it's you, it, the, the idea is nice. So if you're like going to the gym every week or every day or putting an hour of mm. whatever you want into learning Japanese, but mm. it's not gonna happen if you're not gonna like commit to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you need to just be like strict with yourself to be like, I'm going to put out, I, I'm going to, this is going to go beyond me just having this idea of I wanting to do this thing and me just putting in like the raw hours to do mm. it. I, I think one thing that I uh, took, this is from Tyler on stream as well. Like, right? this is, <laughs> of course. This, yeah. is, this is what he said, right? Yeah. And on, honestly, I it, it really resonated with me. He, he, he said that like, he goes to the gym a bunch, right? Obviously, because yeah. he's an absolute human machine. Brick shit you ever out. seen Tyler Wan? This man is literally like insane. Yeah. He was like, and I, and to this day, this like I, I still firmly believe this. He was like, you know, even if you have the shittest day on earth, yeah. If you if you go to the gym and you work out, you've done something. Yeah. You yeah. actively feel like you've 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 made some progress on something. Yeah. yeah. And like you know, work doesn't have to go right. Your relationships don't have to go right. Right. But at least you've had that one thing that you've done that was good for you. Yeah. And yeah. and it and it. And it and, and to be honest, right, when you go to the gym, like the one thing I really loved about it, and, and <laughs> this is probably the reason I go, is because the, the the day, so I, I I like to go in the morning. Yeah. I don't really like going at night. It's not mm. really my thing. When I go to the gym in the morning, that the, the rest of the day is like amazing. Like my yeah. energy is high. Yeah. I feel great. The next, I sleep well. <laughs> I normally have a good next day too as well. So yeah. I just find that everything improves when I go. So that's why I do like going. Mm. Yeah. But fuck is it hard to do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean like I, I like this year, I opted to get up at like, you know, around like 
eight or nine a.m. Mm. Nine a.m. Mm. latest. I've been doing right? that as well. Yeah, yeah. and just be, like even if like I got barely any fucking sleep the night before, even yeah. if I went to bed at like three a.m., yeah. I always try and get up at least like nine a.m. latest, just yeah. because I know that in between mm. nine a.m. and lunch, if I get something done before lunch. Mm-hmm. I feel fucking amazing for yeah, the yeah, afternoon. I'm like, it's I got something done. It's, that's not even lunchtime. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's such. A, Dude, are we all like synced up? What's going on? <laughs> it's such a we're sim- all in the matrix. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's such a simple life hack where, yeah. like, like waking up early. They, life hack: wake or, up early. Or, or all the adults tell you, "Oh, you'll feel better if you wake up early." As a yeah. kid, I'm like, "Shut up! Yeah. Let, let, <laughs> let me stay fuck up till you. fuck you. Let, let me stay up till five a.m. playing video games. Yeah. See how that hurts me. Yeah. I know who knew that it, it hurts you. It hurts you. Oh, it hurts. But the one good thing, right, about, okay, there's, there's two sides of this coin. So if you are waking up at nine all the time, mm-hmm. even if you go to bed at like 5 a.m., mm-hmm. you have like yeah. a, a, a night out, you'll probably still wake up at nine because your body's like, this Just is, this is time yeah. to wake up, get up now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I have been. Yeah. You yeah. feel shit all day, yeah. but yeah. at least you still maintain the sleep schedule. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But on the other side, I remember when I used to wake up at like one or 2 p.m. It's not, not my proudest of days. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, well, I think we've all been there. Yeah. I would wake up at this time. One good thing was that one, I normally just like didn't eat as much. Like I found mm. that when I'm awake all day, I'm eating a lot more. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> I, wonder, you know? I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause <laughs> I'm just, I got more shit to do. I'm yeah, more active, yeah, yeah, but exactly. I would eat less cause I would just eat a meal at like eight and then I would go to bed. Yeah, yeah. 4 a.m. whatever. Yeah. But the other thing is when I go out with my friends and I'm, we're going drinking, I'm getting really tired by like 10 <laughs> and I'm like, fuck bro. Cause I remember when I would wake up at two yeah. and we went out, yeah. I'd be like 4 a.m. You both good? I'm still good to go, man. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, go, yeah. let's party, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, I'm so tired. I gotta get, I got work tomorrow. I'm like, let's yeah. keep going, let's keep going. But no, and then now I'm I'm that guy who's like, dude, it's like it's like 9 p.m., man. I uh, I gotta get back soon, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, it's I so sad, man. I can't, I, it's so hard for me yeah, to I'm stay not, I remember, midnight. Yeah, I remember same. when I first, like when we first started coming to Japan, like me and Joey had this thing where every time I would come, we would do like all night karaoke. Every time, every, every time. single fucking time. And then- Like twice a week. Bro, we're gonna yeah. have to do that when people come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, no, no, no. I'm, I'm dreading. Oh my God. I'm, 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 like, I'm like, can we go in the morning and just go all the way to like 10 PM and this yeah. call it night? What, or? what I hope is right. <laughs> content creators who wanna come on Trash Taste who are mutuals with us on Twitter. There's yeah. a very, very small amount of people watching this. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. you come here, please don't all come at the same time. Yeah. I'm begging you, I'm please. <laughs> we're gonna die. Wait, wait. It's gonna happen though. Yeah, when the country okay. opens up, there's just gonna be like a mass fucking, mass fucking, people just coming in the country. Yeah. Cause like I, I saw people on Twitter were like talking. They were like, any other content creators want to arrange a trip to Japan when, the foot, when it opens up right away? And I was like, please, no, please <laughs> come. Come in small chunks. At least, come, at least, come, let's, at least let's not do the all night karaoke. Yeah, Cause yeah. like, man, that that morning, that train home or that taxi home or that whatever, however the fuck you get home is like the most depressing thing in the world. Dude, like, when I was coming back from your housewarming party, it was like, like 2 AM on a taxi and I'm yeah. like, God, I want to die. <laughs> I was there, like, it was the most depressing taxi I've just, been on in so just, long. There's just something about going home after a night out when you can see the sun that is just like, yeah, that's that true is just depression. awful. That, that is like, I'm what like, am I doing? I'm like, you, you're, walk, you're walking in the streets and you're just like- Everyone else is going to work. Yeah, are, are you like, look at all these people with an adequate amount of sleep in their body. <laughs> Fuck them. I feel homeless. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like a homeless man roaming the streets. <laughs> I'm like, well, you probably everyone like is functioning in yeah. society and I'm just like going home. It's like, like a fucking gremlin or something, yeah, right? Like, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, I remember that. I used to go out to like 4 a.m. when yeah. we first came here. Yeah. I, I like that though. That's fun. I, no, that was, that that was, was good times. Day. That was fun times, but I can still do it. I, I just gotta I, I, like everyone's gotta agree. Like it, it, it yeah. needs to, it needs to be like <laughs> to, to me. Like we used to do it on the on a whim, but now like it needs to be. Yeah, I gotta a good prep. I gotta prep for that. We shit. all gotta yeah, agree. Yeah. We're like this is a hard one, boys. We're going hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're all gonna we're all gonna get drunk. Yeah. We're all too drunk. <laughs> I gotta like go to sleep really early the night before, <laughs> so I can get like enough sleep before my true, waking true. up at eight a.m. Yeah. Oh my god. No, because like for me, I I, I luckily like. If I want to stay up, I can stay up pretty easily. Mm. But what that just means is I just lose a day. It's just, yeah. I, I, I lose a day if I stay up late now. It's like my actions have consequences. Yeah. At every party Who I go to, knew? it's this motherfucker who's last alive. <laughs> He's always the one up till like seven. I don't get it. At like two sometimes, I, I you know, I don't really get much FOMO anymore mm-hmm. at parties. I don't really feel like I have to stay up. Yeah. Once I'm done, I'm like, Later guys, yeah, if yeah. I'm the first to go to sleep, I'm the first to go to oh, sleep. Yeah, yeah. I'm no qualms about it. Yeah. It's yeah. whatever my body is saying. I'm like, all right, yeah. later guys. Yeah. 
Cause I, especially if I, especially if I'm, I need to do something the next day, or they want to hang out again the next day. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I want to, I want to be awake to like spend time with you guys. Yeah, you know? of course, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Gant's like, I must stay awake. <laughs> Mind over matter. Mind over matter. <laughs> matter. I don't know. It's just when people are there, I'm just like. I, I wish to I wish to converse now. I wish to social. True, true. <laughs> I do, okay, that I do feel a bit of FOMO about. Like if, yeah. if I haven't seen my friends in ages, I'm like, yeah, I really yeah. want to talk to you, but I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. But that's the thing, right? It's like, it's like if I, if it's just like a regular night, mm. right? Yeah. And I'm like, I could stay up and do whatever I'm doing until like 4 a.m. Yeah. But then I think to myself, I'm like, this is shit I can just do tomorrow morning. Yeah. yeah. So I now mean, it's like, I don't have to do it now. Yeah, I mean, it's different. One. Like if it's like friends I hadn't seen in a while, I'll fucking stay. Oh up. yeah, that is yeah. like the one exception where I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll be having yeah, to like yeah. 5 a.m. If it's just like a normal night out yeah. with these lads who I see every week, I'm yeah. like, guys, I'm, I'm getting a bit <laughs> yeah, tired. If it's like a know? mate I'm gonna see next week, I'm like, all right, see, I'm gonna bed, fuck you. <laughs> True, true. I need a piss quickly. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I didn't take. I didn't take one last time when we had a long break. This man's woman bladder. Sorry to interrupt your regular trash taste episode because, by the way, did you know we stream on Trash Taste <gasps> now every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. GST. These times on screen, we will be live doing some fun things. Maybe we'll be tasting food, doing some challenges. This is a spelling bee. Why weren't you here live watching it, Americans? We know you're asleep, but come and watch the streams. So smash that Twitch link in the description down below to come watch these streams live, and maybe you'll be on the chat on screen somewhere. I hope I'm pointing it right. <laughs> Look, one camera, one camera. Change the other camera with Joey. The, now back to the middle camera. I'm now back too. to the camera with me and Gart. You, you're missing out on all this fun stuff. Come watch Trash Taste Live. Yeah, Trash right Taste is on uh, Twitch. Twitch. Yep, twitch.tv slash Trash Taste Podcast. <laughs> I got this, don't worry about it. <laughs> twitch.tv slash Trash Taste Podcast, 7 p.m. JST every week until the end of December. Links down in the description below. Come and hang out with us. See yeah. you then. I should hit that follow button. Going back to like languages and stuff though, mm. like I did have this thought and I don't mean to like sound elitist or okay, you know, gatekeep something else, right? They, but no, I just like talking the about? shit out of okay. me, can't. Do you think you can truly understand a culture if you don't have, if you don't like have at least like a bit of an understanding of the language? Because what made me think this was learning mm. Japanese has really made me appreciate Thai and yeah. Thai culture and made me think about my own language or my second language in a way that I never thought about before, right? Yeah. Because to me, learning a language or like learning Thai was just the way I communicated to my mom. Mm. And I didn't like, it didn't like, I didn't internalize just how much of my culture was steeped into my language until I started to try learning Japanese, right? Yeah. And you know, you, like, like we just said, you can translate things, right? You can, you can translate ideas, but yeah. one thing, one thing that I've, found learning Japanese or like now appreciating time more is like sometimes you can't, uh, sometimes it's really hard to translate a certain feeling you get from a phrase. I, I think it's impossible mm. to learn a language without learning the culture and vice versa. I think you can learn the language without knowing anything about the culture. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think you can. I think you can, but I mean, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> but but you can, but like, I, I think, yeah, of course you can. Cause it's, you know, it's a, it's a set of rules and you, you follow them and you say the words like- Right, but you know, just because yeah. you know a set, but like, like I, a, I would a, argue- Like you can teach a robot a language. It doesn't right. have to understand the culture behind it, it but it yeah, knows Yeah, but that's it. a robot. Right, right <laughs> what I'm saying is that like, well, if that can be done, right? That yeah. shows that, I mean, you don't need to understand the culture. Like yeah. you don't have to understand the culture, but I think if you wanna, on the other hand, if you wanna understand more about the culture, no, that your question was knowing the culture, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I think if you wanna know more about the culture, the language is probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, but I would argue that they kind of, they go hand in hand, right? Like I feel because the language of a country is a culture. Yeah, vice yeah. Versa, I, yeah, right? I, so I, it's like, I feel like, yes, you could like, you know, as you said, you can teach a robot Japanese right. yeah. and it can, you know, speak back in Japanese, but that's because that's a robot, right? Yeah, it yeah, it yeah, has yeah. no understanding of the actual language. And if, I feel in, in you can only get so far right. learning a language without knowing the culture. Yeah, yeah. and on, on the like counterpoint to that, it's like, well, on, on the other hand, it's like English is constantly changing yeah. as is, as are most languages, yeah. right? Yeah. Like you go back 80 years and you watch Japanese, you probably don't understand the Japanese that no. well, right? It's no. the same thing. You know, language is a, constantly changing thing. Mm. Yeah. But la language is a, like culture as a whole, but in some ways culture is a reflection of the language that changes over time. No, so that's, that's, yeah, that's, so, that's exactly so. my point, right? Mm. Where it's, 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 it's been like such a weird journey for me 
learning Japanese mm. and just having like, I, I feel like having like a different part of my mind unlocked. Mm. I don't, I don't, it's, it's so, it's so, I don't, it's, so it's, it's, it's so weird to try Garner, to- Garner, used 1% of his brain. Yeah, it's so weird to, to, weird to try to describe this to someone who has like never tried to learn a language or has or only knows one language yeah. where you kind of like even, you kind of even like think differently with a second language or like, you know, it's- uh, Well, people yeah, have told me, like, people have told me I sound different when I speak Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Like I become a totally different person person, mm. but I'm like, I would argue that that's because the Japanese side of me that's speaking Japanese follows more of the Japanese <coughs> cultural way yeah. of life, which is completely like, different to the Australian way of like, life. Like, is there any like Japanese concepts in language that you think are like, have can't be translated or like are difficult to translate oh, into absolutely. English? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean like- I mean, no, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, I don't think it's just like, it, it's not just like one, you know, phrase that can't be translated yeah. or whatever. I mean, there's lots of, yeah. you know, I, I would argue that there's a lot of English words that can't be translated to Japanese. Oh, that's right? definitely. Um, but yeah, like Boston, for instance, <laughs> right? Or, you know, there's a lot of Japanese words that take an entire sentence to describe in English. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right? But like, you know, there are some like, especially like, you know, I think the whole thing of like just kanji, especially, mm. yeah, is yeah, so yeah. difficult to translate without fully first explaining what the fuck kanji even is, right? Yeah. And I, that's why I always found it interesting that there are so many like Japanese, like, you know, manga, anime and stuff like that, that so heavily rely on the Japanese language and therefore the Japanese culture yeah. that have somehow been translated and have somehow still been understood by people who mm. have no knowledge of the language or the culture. Yeah. yeah, Like it still baffles my mind how popular the Monogatari series is outside of Japan. Mm. Because that show, I've seen the subtitles, a lot of it gets lost in translation right, right. so hard. Yeah. yeah. But somehow people still enjoy Maybe it. The ideas are still there. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. know. But I feel that like, you know, it's, it's interesting to see like how a Japanese person would react to a show like that versus yeah, yeah. how a non-Japanese person would react to a show. Yeah. Both good, both positive outcome, mm. yeah. but a completely different level of understanding yeah. of what yeah. makes it good. You know, and like the language also tells the history of the country in many yeah, ways yeah. as well. You like, know, like, you know, we have a lot of French words in English that are taken yeah. from, you know, when France had control over England mm. and yeah, Japanese yeah. has tons of English words and, you know, it also Japanese have a lot of words that are like very cute sounding to reflect yeah. the nature of Japanese society right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's, it, it all, it all kind of reflects it in a way that's really interesting and kind of bizarre, really. Yeah, it doesn't I mean, really make much sense yeah. sometimes. Mm. Because because I, I realized uh, when I went back to England and I was speaking, you know, speaking Thai again to my mum that there were just like some Thai concepts and Thai like words that I just didn't know couldn't be translated into mm. English until mm. I thought about it. Like there's this, there's this concept of in Thai called Jai, which means the heart, right? And a mm. lot of things, a lot of things revolve around this concept of Jai. So basically, Jai Lan means hot heart. So that means mm. you're impatient, right? Mm. And that's that's the literal translation, <laughs> right? Mm. Jai Yen means patience, cold heart, yeah. right? Mm. Now there, there's this word called Nam Jai, which means water flowing from the heart. Okay. Mm. And, I'm, and you explain that to English, you're like, what the fuck does that mean? Upset, water, maybe? Water, water flowing from A the heart. heart disease. And, <laughs> and, and it's, it's like- it's, So you're incoming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> water flowing from the heart means it's, it's someone's, it's, someone giving genuine acts of kindness with no strings attached. Mm. They just want to be mm. welcoming and they are willing to give just these genuine acts of kindness so that everyone around them has a good time and is more welcomed. And they do that with no strings attached. Mm. And like, I, like there, there is no English translation for that. Like, cause the closest well, thing you can say like is- nanny, just, nanny words to explain it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the closest thing you can say is like kind, but it's not, it's not really kind, but like, unless you know, Thai, I mean, not, not unless you know Thai, but like if you've been to Thailand, you can feel this feeling, right? Mm. This feeling that exudes from the country, which is mm. why, which, which is why it's a great place to go on holiday because everyone there is so welcoming because yeah. a lot of people there have Nam Chai that, and like, it's, it's so hard to explain that into a different language because yeah. in Thai, that is just a concept that you feel because it's just so steeped in the culture yeah. and you feel it when you go there. But if you don't speak the language then you don't have a proper word to place on this feeling that you feel people exuding. Same thing with Japan as well. Mm -hmm. you, you feel a certain feeling from, you know, that, you know, someone who grew up in Japan may have yeah. a different way of thinking and a different way of acting than say someone who grew up outside of Japan. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's so many like nuances with just culture and just psychology that is so like steeped into language that it's, it's, you can explain it, but it's from what I've, from what I've 
from what I've experienced, it's mm. the difference between explaining a joke and understanding a joke, you know? Yeah, and yeah. Now, now that I've been you know, an avid anime watcher of my entire life and I've had Japanese concepts explained to me, it's like mm. been so weird actually feeling some of these concepts as yeah. opposed to just understanding them. And I, I mean, guess- yeah, like one concept I can think of in Japanese is like this idea of reading the room or reading the yeah. atmosphere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kooky yeah. or like air in Japanese, yeah. but like, and you know, we say like when we read the room, we say kuki or yomu, which means to read the at- read the air. Yeah. But like, it's not quite the same as when you say reading the app or reading the room in English. Yeah. There's like a whole other like, it's it's like a socio psychological element to it that it's like it's so important to read the room and not reading the room or not reading the air in Japanese culture is so like not good like that's yeah. like you're basically just you know societally just it's it's a societal mm. death basically yeah because it's it's, yeah. it's like a communication within Japanese society yeah. that doesn't require words it's, right? yeah it's it's yeah. a thing that doesn't require words and it's like this like non spoken social etiquette of sorts yeah. that Japanese people have just hardwired into their brain from a young age because it's just so integrated into society. And, you know, you, again, that's like another concept where you can explain it in another language. And I'm sure, you know, if you like looked into it and understood it, then, you know, you'd be like, all right, I get what that means. You know, I can, I know how to say it in this context, yeah. but you know, it, even for me, it's like, I don't think I could fully use or utilize the word or fully understand what that word means because yeah. I personally didn't grow up as heavily in an environment like that. Mm. Yeah. Like I grew up with it, sure, but I wasn't born and raised in Japan. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, there's that sort of disconnect of, yeah, as you said, like understanding it from an explanation and just understanding it through osmosis. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's it's. And it's I'm sure weird. there's, it's like, there's it's a lot of things it. that I've never thought about in English as well that yeah. maybe, maybe it's just like purely unique to our culture and our mm, language. Mm, and mm. it's just like, I don't know, it was, it's it's just been, it's just been really weird. It's, it's made me think about things I've always took for granted in my life where yeah. like language was just me conveying an idea. And I just didn't realize that me speaking English meant that I was learning a part of the history that our country has been through, you know, mm. that's, that's just, it's, it runs way deeper than I gave it any credit for. <laughs> Man discovers language <laughs> is, is history in disguise. I, I can see why people get into like linguistics. No, and shit. I, I, I didn't get it either yeah. at first. And I'm just like- Yeah, we're this- literally just talking about linguistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I, like for the longest time, I'm like, wait, so what do you study linguistics? Yeah. You, you, like the fuck is that? I'm like, do you know how to speak? What do you need to know? Yeah, Where what do you need to know? You already know, you already know the language. Yeah. What more is there to learn about it? But now I understand. I'm like, it runs so much deeper than yeah. just, I know a lot of words, you know? Yeah. yeah, it makes me in some ways because I, you know, I'm I'm fluent in Welsh and obviously I lived there all my uh, young or oh, adult life, I guess. Oh yeah, no child life before adult. Yeah, and uh, you know, in some ways I'm like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm I know the culture. Of course I know the culture. I'm yeah. like, wait, 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 what? What it exactly is it again? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like sometimes I think, oh man, it's kind of hard to define it. It's kind of yeah. hard to explain yeah. anything. In some ways I'm just like, yeah, it's like the UK, but like way more friendly. Like that's just kind of it. Like that's the culture. Like yeah, very yeah, similar, yeah. but friendly, I guess, and and more focused on being expressive. It's not until you look at it through like a third person perspective. Yeah, which is almost right? why I feel like sometimes, dare I say, it's like it's almost easier to 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 look at a culture and its totality when you're not a part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can kind of like d- disconnect yourself you disconnect, and your yeah, experiences yeah, exactly. from it. Yeah. And sometimes Welsh, I'm like, someone's like, explain Welsh culture to me. I'm like, ah. Yeah, that's what's so hard. Yeah. It's like, is it? actually part of that country's culture or is it, or my is it just your experience yeah. of yeah. living yeah. through that culture? Yeah. Right, yeah. right. That's yeah. what I, I don't, you know, and obviously my, some, my experience is totally different to someone else. And so their view would it, would of my it be, own culture would be totally different. Would it be easier to describe Welsh culture if the other person spoke Welsh, you think? It would probably be a good way to kind of hash things out and be yeah. like, well, like talk, what do you think about this? What you, <laughs> yeah. This is Welsh culture, right? <laughs> I'm like, you know, is this, would you say this is yeah. on, on board? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, It's one of those things where it's like, I, you know, Getting a cultural, um, you know, hearing, if I explain Welsh culture to you, it could be totally different to how someone else mm. might explain it to you. Yeah. And I feel we've experienced that quite a few times on this podcast where we'd say something yeah, like, well, oh yeah, yeah, all Australians are like this. And then a bunch yeah. of Australians are like, no, it's not. No, it's no, not. It's not. There, there's the only difference is there's not enough Welsh people to fact check me. <laughs> <call> me <out. laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> the one Welsh trash taste yeah. fan is like, um. There, there is some I'm like every, every Thai person is just happy to like be recognized. So it's just like, okay. Like, they're you they're not going to call me out. They're going to be like, just not woo! Enough, yeah, there's, there's not enough Welsh people to even, they're, like they don't even watch. They're just yeah. like, they're not yeah. getting yeah. They are some Welsh people, but they don't, a lot of them don't speak Welsh when yeah. I speak Welsh. Yeah, but yeah. it's always been fascinating whenever I've like experienced my perspective of like Australian culture or Japanese culture. Mm. And there have been people on the other side watching yeah. our show being yeah. like, no, that's just you. It is and, and, it, and it kind of opens my eye being like, oh yeah, maybe it is just me. Do you, that's so weird. Do you get accused of being a fake Australian? I think we've spoke about this before. Sometimes. Right? I've, I've, been, I, I've, I've been accused so many times yeah. of being fa fake Welsh online. I think- uh, They're like, why does he sound English then? Why does he have an English accent? How does that happen? I think, I think one time in an episode, I said that all Australians own passports and a bunch of Australians were like, I don't no, know they do, passport. They yeah. Like a lot of-, a lot of I'm like, but are. all of my friends did. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean- So maybe it's just me. <laughs> but you, you also had a lot of uh, international friends as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Well then, yeah. <laughs> we're just different crowds. Yeah, right? so yeah. then that's when I realized I'm like, oh, it's not actually just integrated. So typically as well, the higher income, the more likely you are to have a passport because well, obviously yeah. it's a luxury to travel yeah. and do all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I mean, my view of England is very skewed from a lot of people's view uh -huh. of England because I've only really grown up in the South. Right. You know, I've very much- from like, the South is like the rich part of the UK. That's <laughs> like the part that does well for itself. <laughs> North is rough, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I mean, back, uh, I, it took me like until like 24, 25 before I even went beyond London. <laughs> oh my Basically, God. this people. This is like all the UK, though. This is like yeah, half of the people just don't go above London. Man. Yeah, I know. They're, like, they're just like, oh, uh, Wales. So, so, they got me, fields and shit. Looks yeah. nice. Uh, I'm never gonna go there, though. Like to me, like the Midlands was just this urban legend uh, that people would make up. You know, right? Yeah. I'm just like Midlands doesn't exist. It's, the, it's, it's it's all the north. It's all the north. It's, you know, it just sounds like you, a fucking Lord of the Rings. Do location. you call <laughs> the Midlands? You, no one call, goes to the Midlands. Do you call it the North in, in Australia? Do you have like the North section? No, we okay, have so, we have the coast and not the coast. So this is a great debate in the UK. Where yeah, does the north yeah. begin? Yeah. Right, right, right. Because there's unfortunately there's no fucking big ice wall. Because people in the Midlands, <laughs> people, people, in the, people in the Midlands who are in the obviously, the Midlands wall. Yeah, you know, people in the Midlands. Guess where they live? The middle. Yeah. Um, yeah. They don't want to be in the north because yeah. the north has sometimes bad connotations. If right. Like yeah. Poorer, you know. So a lot of people debate where the north is, but there, I believe there was like a census of where the north is, and it's not. A straight line. It's this weird diagonal line. Right. It's a goes, cultural line, right? Yeah, yeah. That like, goes from like oh, I can't remember where. It's it's a very weirdly almost vertical line. Yeah. Mm. It's it's closer to being vertical than it is to horizontal, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It could be like forty five degrees. It just yeah. goes like this. Yeah. And that's why when some people say, Connor, you're not from the north. You're from Wales. And it's like, no, no, no. The, the Welsh is the Welsh is north, man. If you go to Wales, it, it's the fucking north, bro. <laughs> like, because it, you clearly haven't been to there, yeah. you would know. Isn't the latitude wise? It's like the same as most of the Midlands, though. It's like. It's like almost same, where I'm from is almost the same latitude as uh, Liverpool. Okay. And that kind of area. That seems pretty north. I think I would say it, it, it's- From my north. understanding of where Liverpool is in my map. Yeah, it's, it it's, seems it's, pretty, yeah. it's pretty up there. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, to me, it's like Birmingham is, you could maybe argue isn't north, but Birmingham's pretty northern as well, I'd say, but I don't know. Oh, I, I've met more people from Birmingham that would claim that Birmingham is not from the north. Oh, they're, they're, they're fucking lying, <laughs> they're lying, bro. Everyone from they're Birmingham's lying. like, no, we're from the they're, Midlands, Midlands. No, no, <laughs> the north, bro, it's the north, man. I think for us in Australia- I'm gonna get killed to saying that. Yeah, yeah, I think for us in Australia, it's more so about, because the, mo the majority of the population lives on the coast mm. line. So for us, the argument has always been, where does the coast, most, like the coastal cities stop and starts becoming the inland cities. Mm. Yeah. And like, no one's been able to figure it out. Yeah. Because like, I think for people on the coast, the coast seems a lot more narrow than it actually is. I think I, think I read something ages ago. There was something like in most countries, like if you don't artificially create a border, yeah. like, like East and West Germany, it'll almost always become like a North South divide. Mm. It rarely becomes a, and even if it's not geographically a North and South divide, yeah. it's called a North South divide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird, weird. I don't know why. Yeah, very I can't weird. Remember. I, I, I put, there's probably more to it. I just didn't read the rest of it. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, think about a lot of countries with divides of like, well, it's like Germany has a north south divide with like Bavaria being a rich mm. part of Germany in the south and oh, the northern okay. parts, which. Italy's have, like that as well. I Italy believe, has yeah. it. France is like that too. Yeah. Um, a lot of countries are like that. North mm. America. Most European countries, America, I would argue. Is America I'd, like that? I don't think America's like that. Is what? It? There's like the south. Well, there's the like, south yeah, and there's the, the north. southern okay. states and then there's oh, the northern yeah, yeah, states. Yeah. I, was, I, was thinking but well, I was thinking east and west coast. Well, right? America's, America's, America's yeah, weird yeah, yeah. because it's, it's like a well, it's, like it's, it's, it's like everywhere divided, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> killing everyone, right? That's- Yeah, America's like a quad divide, yeah. Japan, I guess, kind of, a little bit. No, Japan is like, Tokyo, Kyoto, and everywhere else. No, Tokyo, Kyoto, no, Tokyo, like Osaka, everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. No, Tokyo, yeah. uh, Japan's a weird place. Though. No, actually, actually, <laughs> no, no, Japan, no, Japan, no, Japan actually is east and west. 
No, it's not. Okay, also, it's Kansai and Kanto. Yeah, but then also the I would argue in some ways it's north and south because there's the whole uh, whole like Hertz shit, the, the electrical grids being different. That's Kanto and Kansai. Yeah, but, no, but it's, it's like cut off from like Tokyo. It's like, it's like a, Tokyo up. It's yeah. like a 45 degree angle, yeah. right? It's yeah, like, it's, it's like a 45, <laughs> it's like Tokyo 45 degree angle. All of Tokyo <laughs> upwards and then to the east of it, but it's up. It's yeah, not yeah, going yeah. like this way, it's yeah. going up. So it's like kind of north, south, kind of goes to the south. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, yeah, how that, did that happen? Oh, it's uh, something to do with uh, one side of Japan wanting to do European way and the other yeah. just wanting to do its own way. Yeah. And, and and for some reason, I don't know why, Japan still has the whole 50 hertz, 60 hertz bullshit, which by the way, when you're filming stuff is really fucking inconvenient yeah, because yeah. you, have to change, you have to remember to change your camera from 50 to 60 hertz. Otherwise, when, we, flickers. when we go to a place and yeah. we record, there'll be the flickering will be insane. Yeah. yeah. Like I filmed a crane game in Sendai, but I think that's also on 50. But then I think we filmed something when we went to Hiroshima. Yeah, which is 60. I think one of us forgot to change one of the GoPros yeah. and mm -hmm. the GoPros was like just unusable. Cause yeah. it was just like strobe. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like, how, how does this happen in such a, but in other ways I'm like, this is of course this happened in Japan. Yeah, of course. Imagine the bank system. Of course yeah, something of course. stupid like this. We're still trying to happen. phase out the floppy disks. Yeah, of course yeah, it happens. Oh my God. Just man. Once something is decided here, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. And there is no turning back. Well, there is no I turning back. Just, yeah. I, 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 we is that, that's all, that's our weekly complaint about Japan bit. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, you're welcome. We've ticked off all of yeah. We've complained about America, we've complained about Japan. <laughs> Even talked about anime. <laughs> about anime oh, dude, the bingo card is full. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> and I'm gonna shit. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bingo. And I'm going to shit. Right <laughs> <now. laughs> punk music. I don't know. I, you know, I, I think I, I love talking about the differences between countries so much, and, mm. but it also becomes, I guess, tedious to a lot of the listeners, maybe. I don't know. I just, I just, I just, I, I definitely think that growing up, because I traveled a bunch and I was very, very fortunate that I traveled a bunch. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely learned a lot about other countries. My, my dad lived in like Germany mostly. So it was really cool getting to learn about all these different cultures. Mm, I'm yeah. obsessed with US culture, but sometimes it's uh, really hard to talk about it online because sometimes someone living in that culture is like, no, yeah, you're wrong. But, well, like, yeah, but I also I mean, want to give it, give it a little talk about it. But yeah, also yeah, I'm welcome yeah. to be educated. But, uh, but I would argue that that's on that person, right? Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, obviously. Well, it's, if it's, I, okay, if I say it's, it's a very skewed perspective. If I, yeah, and also if I say something blatantly wrong, then yeah, I mean, well, like, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like France is a good country, you know? Yeah. Like, if I say that, then that's fair <laughs> enough that I'm, you know, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, French viewers. I'm joking. It's a joke. I'm British. We make the joke. You can mock the UK. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, I, f I feel like, especially now that now now that living in another country, like properly living in another country and integrating into its society. I mean, this is the first, this is my first real experience yeah. trying to integrate into a society where I have not grown up in. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. have no prior experience in. It's just been a shot in the dark. And I give you guys props for that. It is, like, it is a it's, learning it's, it's, experience. It's hard. It is yeah. like, because it was different for me living in Thailand because mm. I'm just like, yeah, I've never, I never properly lived in Thailand before, but- You've got like family there, right? I have can, family yeah. there. I've visited there enough. I speak the language. I understand the culture as we've yeah. just said. Um, so it's, it's, it was much easier for me to integrate and there wasn't mm. as many any surprises. I wouldn't mm. say I got like a culture shock per se. I don't know, what is culture shock? I don't know, when shit's what, what, what is, what is, what is Culture shock is when you go to a country and you realize but, that but, something that you didn't think is normal is normal in this country. Yeah, or like the daily norms that you did aren't normal here. Are normal and then here. And you rethink the way you yeah. think. I, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, gonna say I, I guess maybe we've had culture shock, but not like- I, I had culture shock going back yeah. to the UK. <laughs> yeah, reverse uh, culture yeah, shock, yeah. 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 I, I, I had more I'm reverse the, culture I'm shock. I'm gonna pull a gun. Question to you boys. Question, yeah. it, question to you. Okay. All right, all right. Do you find yourself more critical of your home country after leaving said country? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making sure that In we- In the conversation. <laughs> so, so it's really easy for me to look at the UK and be like, what a fucking mess. <laughs> but yeah. I knew it was a mess when I lived there. Yeah. But it was, yeah. you know, there, okay. But it was your mess. It's true. It still is. My mess. Yeah. I still love it. I still yeah. love the UK, but holy shit, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> there is a so <laughs> right now in the UK, there's this, there's this, there's like no truck drivers, like no tr people to drive. Oh, trucks. Are you talking about the fuel crisis? No, it's not that. It's that we have no truck drivers. Oh, okay. Because we stopped letting uh, immigrants in to drive trucks. Right. And so then turned out that we were only hiring immigrants to drive trucks before. Right. And then suddenly they were like, uh, who's going to drive the trucks? And so now there's no there's no truck drivers. And all the so British now, people are like, yeah. And now, and now uh, they're like, shit. We should have we should have maybe like thought about this. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. So then I'm I'm not commenting on all that shit because it's a fucking minefield. Yeah. But there was this, there was this uh, now there was this there was this news thing on BBC. Mm. Where <laughs> so because there's no truck drivers, what they've done, or I don't know if this was just like this could have been just news bait or something. Mm. I don't know what it was, but this clip was just so fucking funny. I don't care if it's true or not. 
there was this BBC uh, bit about how now they were recruiting prisoners who had truck licenses <laughs> to drive trucks. Are you serious? Yeah, so, so, so I, whatever, whatever. I, I don't care, I don't okay. care, all right. But then they, <laughs> they're like, they're like, meet Steve. This is Steve. He's a, he's a truck driver. And he was in, <laughs> sorry, I can't even like. <laughs> Steve, Steve was arrested for smuggling cocaine on a truck into the UK. <laughs> it's <was> just like, <laughs> could they not have like, <laughs> like, I get it, I get it. I so he's a great truck driver. I was like, this man is really good at driving yeah. trucks. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, they're trying to sell the public on this. And that is the one fucking example they give. I'm like, come on. <laughs> People are not going to be happy with that. People like people don't want Pablo Escobar yeah, managing like, their infrastructure. Yeah, you know what like, I mean? Like <laughs> people did. Like, Me, like, Steve. He but, ran over seventy but, people but with the, a truck. The problem was that it was delivered food. That British people being was, like immigrant truck drivers. No, <laughs> that's the cocaine thing, truck drivers. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what's insane to me, man. It's like it's like you can't make this shit up. Oh like God. they would rather a guy who like broke the law than get than get someone who can't speak English well. You know what I mean? Like oh it's God. fucked up. And so I, I know that's this whole politics. I don't, I don't give a shit, but that, yeah. that, that, that whole thing is just fucking absurd. Yeah. But it was just that the humor of it was just the reason why I found it so funny mm -hmm. because it was just delivered through that traditional BBC, no opinion, no emotion vibe where it was just like, the, the British government has resorted to dry, hiring inmates to yeah, drive yeah. trucks. Yeah. This is Steve. He was caught smuggling cocaine on a truck. It was just like, it was just so, not even a single emotion not was sure put on. into this thing. Yeah. And it was just so jarring. Yeah. <laughs> and, was like, and Chris sent me the clip. It was just so funny. Yeah. I was like, this is so <laughs> fucking funny. It's just, oh my God, what is going on? The absolute state, the absolute, the absolute state. state of truck drivers in the UK. The absolute state of the UK. Right <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. BBC went downhill since Can't Left. That's for yeah, sure. Of, that's, that's, I mean, that's why I left, right? Yeah. I, 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 I got off. You saw those stories. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, too fair, that I'm was some great here. reporting. That was so amazing. <laughs> they reported that the best, most funniest way they could have. I was very happy with that. Sometimes it's just the way they, like BBC News, it's just sometimes it's the way they present it. So how can I, how, what's, what's the word? Because they're, for? they are like nonchalant. the gold, nonchalant. They are the yeah, gold yeah. standard of not inserting opinion in terms of at least just the the broadcast airing and, mm, and like yeah. when they factually presented. They have a lot of articles that are absolute shit with full opinions of garbage, but yeah. generally, the primetime TV when they're just saying the thing. Mm. Normally it's good. It's it's the good it's a good example Selling of Selling it how it is. Yeah, yeah. they're normally they they they've been a little bad recently, <laughs> but <you know. laughs> it's a shame really. Because the yeah. gold the BBC was a kind of a gold standard in in, in television. Mm. Uh, yeah, and, it was. And now it's kind it of was. gone. God, it's like, <laughs> it was. <Yeah. laughs> but now it's gone downhill. When when they reported that uh, Gundam as a Transformer, that I was, was like- <laughs> That was the final <laughs> straw. That, that was the final straw. They couldn't even make the fucking research to call it a Gundam. I put the letter of resignation on the table the next day. <laughs> I was God, like, God. the audacity. You know you know how like actors send letters to other actors? They're like, your performance was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They said, like, Gant sent the letters to the BBC. <laughs> I am disappointed. The <laughs> Absolute state of this news station. What has happened to the great BBC? I want to strike this from my CV so nobody ever knows I worked for the BBC. This and is what you do with the taxpayer will. money. I would like to boycott the BBC. <laughs> I would like to rescind my employment at the BBC, please. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just oh god. Because you only you know you know when you're living there, you get to experience the nice parts and, and the yeah. the fun yeah. parts. And now I only just hear about the fucking mess that is going on with the like the news articles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And my parents being like, so the world is on fire here. Yeah. yeah, you know, and they they were like, oh yeah, energy prices went up like one thousand percent or something. <laughs> they were like, the energy bill went from like. 40 pounds to like yeah. 500 pounds. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, that I mean like e e even like deep during the pandemic when I heard about the 5G things. Cause oh like, I, 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 I remember- It was so bad in yeah. the UK. Yeah, I, I remember back back when it started, we were just like, haha, look at look at all the silly Americans. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, okay, we no, were just like laughing, laughing right? But it's, the British people in the UK legitimately think that crazy people only exist in America. Yeah, yeah. No. They, don't, they don't believe that crazy people yeah. exist in the UK. Yeah, and, and then- crazy people exist everywhere. Yeah, know, and, and then all these news articles about people like burning 5G towers in the UK came out and the rest of the world were like, Yo, get your mans, get your mans. I was just like, 
The same, my man's man. <laughs> uh, I'm part of Japan now. Uh, <laughs> uh, Japanese citizen. Uh, I don't know, don't, don't, don't know what's going on in that country. Ego Wakaranai. It's really bad. It's yeah. like, it was, it was all the videos online of 5G yeah. towers being torn down yeah. or like set on fire. Every time I was watching, I was like, oh, where was this? Florida or something? And then you hear yeah. a really bit thick British accent. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. It's my man's. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, because uh, like I, yeah, I, I don't know if we were just blind to this when we were living there, but I, it, oh, it's just been exacerbated. When oh, we it's been out. exacerbated yeah, in like yeah, the past yeah. like five years. It's gone like Definitely. it's skyrocketed, and uh, yeah, it, it's really, really tragic. Really. And I feel like, especially during like these past few years, we've seen like the the fucking stupidest parts of humanity just like <laughs> on, on like on fucking front and center. Yep, yeah. <laughs> the thing, right? They don't, it's, they, it's, don't you know, they don't think they're yeah. being stupid. That's it's, what they it's, it's, it's unfortunate that you know our country was like part of that stupidity we thought every country thinks they're immune to it but we found we soon find out that we are we are yeah, not immune to just it. as capable it's, of being yeah. stupid any, any any country with internet it's going to happen to yeah. you know yeah. every single every country that that has the internet it's unfortunate it's happening yeah, right now, man. yeah. It's, it's sad man do you know? Do you know what I realized? Uh, you, you know, like every cheesy hero movie or every like cheesy heroic moment where the hero asks the entire world to come together and <laughs> cooperate. Like, do you, you remember that scene in Dragon Ball Z where Goku asks everyone to fucking give me your energy, give him energy for the spirit bomb? I'm, I realized that's entirely fucking bullshit. <laughs> like, imagine if that tried to. If, imagine if that like happened in real life. You know, like the fucking Americans would argue whether they have the right to not put their hands up, right? Japan would take six <laughs> months to approve any of their citizens putting their hands up. The UK would start would start burning 5G towers <laughs> and Australia would probably go back into lockdown. They, they, you know? they, they put their hands <laughs> like, on the ground. And upside like, down. like no one would fucking put their hands up. <laughs> oh my god. I would like I would like to see that like, I would like to see that Goku scene post COVID. Let's 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 see how that turns <laughs> out, man. <laughs> I think it'll go on for twice as many episodes, right? It's like it's just, free, it's just like free, it's just like the bad guy's just like I'm waiting. Go, go, Goku has to go on a PR trip around the world kissing babies. <laughs> Goku has to go on Joe Rogan to try and convince everyone to smoke to put yeah, their hands just, up. just smoke weed on Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 oh my god. So what you're saying is Goku is that everybody has to put their hands up? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, people be like, I don't know Such about a right wing thing to say. <laughs> oh, but I don't know about this Margin Boo character. You say he's <laughs> the greatest threat in the universe? How come I haven't heard of him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a hoax to me. <laughs> you you Tony the Frogs game. <laughs> have you got any proof that he exists? <laughs> that he's not some liberal, some something made up by the liberals? <laughs> It's oh, liberal yeah, propaganda, yeah. I tell you. <laughs> oh my god! Someone, someone needs to make a political satire of Dragon Ball Z. That'd be the funniest oh thing in the god. world. New grounds. Bro, you, need, it, you need to come out of the dark ages and make that. Man, it, it it sucks just being like, I don't give a shit about any of this. Like, yeah, it sucks being in like, yo, you're all crazy. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Just, just be normal. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard to be normal because that in itself is a fucking take. Yeah. That's yeah. like, what do you mean you don't have strong opinions on this weird shit that I read online? Just, like, I, just, I, just, I just don't I, care, yeah, man. I'm just trying to chill, man. I just yeah. think that like, why don't you just be nice to people? I don't know. Yeah, it must be know. nice to have the privilege to just chill. <laughs> But yeah. you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I, I, it's one of those things where I, it's, it's unfortunate because I don't think inherently people, I think there are a small amount of people that genuinely are like extremely hateful in a sense. Mm. Yeah. I don't think, you know, it, it's why I, I hate demonizing any side too much. I don't like just saying one side is right because I think at the end of the day, even though as long as they're not posting harmful stuff, which sometimes unfortunately they are, mm. yeah. uh, they, they are posting harmful misinformation. It sucks because I don't think that anyone is inherently like evil or trying to spread hate. I think they genuinely just believe that what they are spreading is gonna save people's lives yeah. or help people, yeah. well, yeah. which I, I, sucks because then then when someone believes that firmly about it, it is yeah. like impossible to change their well, mind. I, I, th I think it's just, it's been exacerbated by the internet. 100%. I mean, it's, it's like being in social media, mm. it's so easy just to fall in an echo chamber, right? Mm. Where, you, where because you think a certain way and there's nothing you get exposed to that challenges you yeah. or challenges mm -hmm. the way you're thinking, right? Because, you know, in the old days, you hear something, you hear something that you disagree with, and maybe you have a maybe you have a debate, or you know, maybe you you talk to someone mm. about it. But in here, you can just simply 
mute them or you can just yeah. simply not True. follow people who have that opinion. I think, I, right? think that, I think that's the problem I have with it. It's like, I don't really mind people giving like extreme opinions about things yeah. on the internet, right? And, you know, believing in something that they firmly believe in. Right. The problem I have is that no one's having a fucking open conversation about it, right? And no, <laughs> one, is, no one is ready to be like, Say say the op opposite opinion to me. I'm listening, and I will and I will try and understand it the best I can. Yeah, so then it's just like blah blah blah. Can't hear you. I'm right. Fuck you. Mute. You know. You know it's it's uh, the internet's very powerful because I think growing up, anything you read, it's in a it's in books. It must yeah. be true. Yeah. You've yeah. been told that stuff you read or stuff yeah. that you experience or stuff that you're told is always true. Yeah. So and even know, then, it's not sometimes. Right. Like I remember when I was like 12, yeah. and I first came across like the moon landing conspiracy. Yeah. Mm. And like for like a week, I probably thought it was true. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I read it and I thought, well, that makes sense. They, this person explained it well enough to me. Yeah. Mm. And then, you know, but I was 12, I was 13 or whatever, yeah. you know, like you're, you're a fucking idiot. You can't think about stuff. You yeah. can't, you can't, yeah. you can't be like, oh, maybe they cherry picked. You're like, they presented information. This all yeah. seems like it makes sense in my world and that I understand. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. And some people, I feel like almost, kind of have that mindset going forward and never really like tend to think, oh, maybe I should look at other stuff. Yeah, what was that quote? Yeah, it's like history is never written by the losers or something like yeah. that. It's, it's, yeah. it's important yeah. because it's like, it takes energy and time to look at the other side. And mm. a lot of people don't have the energy and time mm. to look at the other side nowadays. Yeah, and you, it's just- You have to like train yourself to like kind of learn. No, you have, right? you have to go against your, you, you know, your own gut feeling mm. and you're just like, okay, I have to literally go out of my comfort zone mm. and see what the other side is saying, which is why like on my social media, I try, even if I don't, even if there's someone out there who I don't agree with, I still like sometimes follow them or I still like sometimes want them to appear on my feed. Yeah. Just so, just so like, I know what the other side it is. It keeps you yeah. grounded. Yeah, yeah. I, I, do, I do hate this idea that you can't follow anyone who has like controversial takes or anything yeah. on Twitter. I'm like, mm. I mean, so what? It's like, you know, you're not promoting them. Mm. If you're following them, yeah. it's like, all right, well, <clears throat> just let them fucking follow them. Like, yeah. what, what harm is it doing? Why yeah. would you want an echo chamber? I don't understand this thought yeah. process of only experiencing your, <laughs> your thought process and people who think similarly to you. Yeah. I, I, to me, it baffles. Uh, yeah, I think if, if you're just surrounded by nothing but yes, man, that equally no. turns you into a oh, bad well, person. If you're because, following yeah. someone who's committed like fucking war, war crimes or genocide, yeah, obviously. Yeah. maybe it's a little different, but yeah. if yeah. someone just said something that's a bit yikes on Twitter, it's like, I mean- If someone know. just gave an opinion, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, like, it's tough, right? Yeah. I mean, like, Pew PewDiePie got canceled for that, or canceled, yeah. right? Yeah. Remember, they were like, he's following, he's Ben Shapiro or something. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's fucking, he's right wing, bro. Or Jordan Peterson or whatever, like that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's like fucking bullshit. That's, yeah. that's like the next level of just like, oh, you, it's not even you agree with this person. It's mm. you are, you have a you platform where you yeah. listen to this person. By by, therefore you are supporting them. Yeah. I'm just like that's fucking bullshit. I, I, Maybe I, I just yeah. want to know what the other side is saying because yeah. I think it's interesting to see to have a different perspective, even if yeah. I don't necessarily fucking agree with it. Yeah, yeah. And like I, th I think I think a big reason why I just like don't have the energy for like a lot of politics nowadays or like this this spectrum of uh, mentality is that everyone has something to say, but everyone knows what they stand against, but no one knows what they stand for. That's, mm. that's, that's how I feel where you can True. like a lot. There's so many people who say, who can say, this is bad. I disagree with this. I disagree with this person. This, I disagree with that person, but they've never told me what they stand for or what, you know, what, mm. what their fight, you know, what, what their opinions are standing for. And I'm just like, well, you know what you, you can dis you can discredit someone but you can't come up with an argument for your own values or your mm. own views. And I, I think I think that's why I fucking, that, that's why I, like, I don't have the energy for this anymore. That's mm. why that, that's why I've started to just, you know, I've, I've, I just listen to people. I like listening to people and I feel like even listening to the other side of the argument really broadens your horizons, even if it's something you don't yeah. agree with, or even if you think the other side is fucking stupid, <laughs> which, you know, you know, it can certainly happen. Do. Certainly do. It, it does keep you grounded. Yeah. True, true. And it does help form your vault, form your worldview as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very eloquent there, John. Oh, very thank eloquent. you very much. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> very eloquent. Almost like the patrons of today's episode. Oh are, my God. Oh my God. Extremely eloquent on screen right now. Look at them. They're not overly them. opinionated. <laughs> well, I mean, they probably are, but they're also very eloquent. These, these people would put their hands up for Goku. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> These people wouldn't burn 5G towers. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if you'd like to support the show, then make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash days. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. Yes. Yeah, what a, what a wow. good outro, Joe. What a good, what a good fucking outro. Well, I guess thanks for watching. Bye gamers. Bye. Bye. Bye.